But it was we brilliant because for a half hour a, leading up to it, you could see the moon one down. creeping in, creeping in. When it was ninety uh, percent covered, other than it looking a little hazy outside, you almost couldn't tell. But if you looked up at it with the glasses, there was almost no sun left. It was just yeah. darkness. Yeah. But when it hit, it yeah, cracked me eyes. up. My neighbors were all out sitting outside. And my next door neighbor's my like, I thought this was supposed to go dark. And I'm like, it will for a couple of minutes, but it'll go like nighttime dark. It's come back, Darren. We're now live. Are we? Yeah, it just suddenly worked. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Well, there you go. But yeah, it cracked me up when it went, when it went total, a huge applause broke out. And like, I could see 20 neighbors down the road, but I could hear the 20 neighbors on the next street, so 20 neighbors on the next street. Applaud, who were they applauding? The sun. Oh. Yeah, oh, just the oh, fact that it was so mate. cool. And my daughter said the same thing happened around her. A bunch of people just started ooing on and applauding and stuff. Who did you sacrifice to get the sun to come back? Yeah. <laughs> I, I hope when my granddaughter grows up, she'll appreciate that. that she, she, Even though she didn't see it, she was actually in a full eclipse. I bet Bill just sacrificed someone for the But I'm telling you, look look up the Conyers hey, Georgia Sunstrobe. Really nice look up the Conyers Georgia Sunstrobe. Play it on here. Multiple people did it, but play the Sunstrobe on here. That's I'm used to shit like that. It's not a camera a defect ball. or anything, but people recorded the Conyers Georgia Sunstrobe where a small group of people saw this. It'll melt your fucking brain. So we're so, on. Yeah, any more comics, Gray? Yeah, that's not a good <laughs> comics. Like we've been showing them the whole time. <laughs> that's brilliant. Right, yeah, just no more new movie. talent what showcase. Next? Oh my god. From the London guy. comic well, I'm gonna show them again. I'm gonna show them again. Some of the comics I've got aren't here uh, because I took them home already. Uh put them away in my box, uh, ready to read. I've now finished my full defenders run. So I'll be reading them at some point. Good, so while. I can spoil that story for you now. Not until I've read it, you he can't. Hasn't read them yet. He hasn't read them yet. Why are there blank pages in issue 92? I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it. See. The universe ends even though there's having sex. I can't remember what we've said already on this show. Yeah. <laughs> Darren said they were bonking on that in those blank panels, didn't you, didn't you Darren, the other week? The blank panels was... Uh... An early uh, comic code deleted the early Hulk sex scenes that J.M. DeMatteis did. It was oh, Wendigo and a Yeti having bumping uglies in a blizzard. <laughs> Brana Beast. Oh That's God. all that matters. We've got Brana Beast, the first appearance. I, I have that in those comics I've gotten recently. I think I might have got I'm Brana Beast. Yesterday. Brana Beast. <laughs> There used to be a, a club here in San Antonio called Buena Dicks, and it was really? super popular. And it was like, it so, was, I mean, it was super popular. Sure, it wasn't Banana Dicks. No, no, no. It was Buena. Like, Buena means friend, apparently. So, friend I dicks. Put him in I don't know. <laughs> but, but, yeah, friendly dicks. I don't know. But, Buena but, but, Dicks. Go. But uh, Darren, you showed these on my oh, channel. Look at that. Oh, 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 shit, yeah, get over oh, here. Yeah. Right. He's got oh, I wanted to double -double. Double. He got a double double. I wanted a double double. I wanted so a double double. Uh, double. Uh, he got it off me because it's hey, my cover. Well as we had a hot dog stand here for decades called Big Dick's Dogs. Right outside the AAA oh, baseball big thing. Dogs. Okay, well, you big dogs. You could have anything in there, Gray. We could be talking mega money. We're not. I had it first. I checked it. Oh, ah. dear. Yeah, there's no marble in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Mark Check doesn't it. know what the key issues are, so there still might be some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> have you got any more, Mark? I have got a couple, yeah. Those are awesome. I've never seen those before. Occasionally, when I buy auction lots in the UK, people will have them. They don't know what they are. Oh, yeah. wow. They're just think, remaindered, right? Yeah. They're just remaindered, yeah. Yeah. It's, 
it's stuff that came over. I think it was the ballast. Um, so they came. So what used to happen is, you know, they used to rip the covers off to the return comics in the states. Right, right. They actually used them. They used comics as ballast on on ship uh, traveling between US and UK. Uh, so yeah. these ships used to come into Liverpool, and the coverless oh, that's comics. A nice one. That's a beauty. Um, and uh, ships used to come into Liverpool with the comics, coverless comics as ballast. Oh, wow. The, that's, that's a beauty. And that, and the Scousers, the Scousers that used to take the comics. Is that a Charles used, Vest cover? They used to put three of them together under a double-double issue. Sure, yeah. Wow, double-double. I get it. Liverpool fun. Uh, yeah, they do that with a lot of, before they pulped all this stuff. Again, yeah, they do that with a lot of new well, Kaluta. Kaluta. Yeah. Kaluta. Michael Kaluta. They do that with Michael a lot of newspapers Kaluta. for ballast, too. Yeah, but that. here's one that'll make you cringe, Mark. Do you know what else they used to use comic books for? Pressure. What? Uh, fire lighters. When, when they'd pull the covers off them and stuff. They'd use them, they'd shred them and use them as home insulation. Yeah. They yeah. found an Action Comics one that way. Oh my God. I know that story, and the, 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 they found it and they, they fought over it and ripped it. Yeah. Wow. Dumbasses. That's a great one. A money, but... that, was part of, that was part of Grey Man's Wages. That has got um, Richard Corbin doing HP Love's Cross Rat in the Wall. Oh my God. And what is the cat called? Oh God, I'm not saying it on a stream. I don't want to get cancelled. Oh, really? Was was the cat yeah. dark in colour, like the yeah, dog from was, the yeah. 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 Oh. Black heart. I've seen that cover before. No, I just got rid of the black heart. Oh, you can't oh, yeah. uh, I just, <laughs> I just stole a bunch of black hawks last night. You stole some, oh, Bill. Yeah. I sold some. Oh, you sold some? Yeah. You sold some comics which you stole last night? No, he... <sighs> you guys are amazing. Oh, you're making me sad now, Grace. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. I'm sad you never kept it. No. Uh, yeah. No, I uh, I sold some last night. And uh, uh, from... Some stuff I've been buying lately. Well, I actually was given it, but I had to give them money because I didn't feel right, not because they're great books. Yeah. And then you got in a fight with Roy Thomas over Mark Wade's mom, right? Well, you know, yeah. Mark Wade's mom is a she's quite a lady. You guys were doing you the you Devil's Tower. Yeah, that's the question. And uh, I don't, you know, I'm going to piss anybody off by saying anything these days, so I need to be very careful. Yeah. Hey, that, Bill, did you read the poem I wrote about Roy's John Thomas? No, <laughs> I, it's Roy William Thomas, by the way, Jr. Yeah, but you know what a John I've Thomas is. I've learned a lot about him you. in the last few days. Do you know what a John <laughs> Thomas is? Uh, pro uh, yeah, uh, probably something that is like R rated. We all have a we all have a John Thomas in common here, unless Lisa. Pauly. Oh, oh, our Standing Hampton and all that jazz. I get yeah. you. I get you. I think that's a good. Uh, you guys, are we can all mind. shake personally at the porcelain. You guys are depressed. Yeah, mine. Okay. So, Ray, what's that that you're putting in a bag right now? That was uh, Vampire Raider and a couple of two thousand ADs. There was some two thousand AD with a back cover. It looked like it wasn't a two thousand AD. Is it is it the best of like a oh, best okay. of one? It's a compilation. It's a compilation one. Oh Got yeah, you. those are nice. Are those oh, put out by Titan? Are those the Titan ones? Or no? Oh, it's just by them. Oh wow. Bill, where are you currently located? I am I'm on the other on side the of where I normally am camera wise. So I'm, oh, I'm right. still in the store, but this is what's normally in in front of me. Okay. You know, so, so today what's in all them boxes there. behind you? That's what I want. Those are know. all comic boxes, yes. Get them out. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. You're funny. Get dude. them out. We have to see them. I'm still telling you. I kind of wish the <laughs> I have some stuff in the car I want to show off. 
How neat was that that the eclipse hit you 20 minutes later it hit me 20 minutes later it hit Johnny. We were isn't all that crazy. In the, isn't that crazy how we we're all in the path. Mm. You know. Cheers Mark. Mm. He's got some rip hunter time master. Okay, so that's good Bill. It means you get your sponsorship money this week. I need to complete my run of rip hunter time master. Yeah, it's oh, just gone. Crazy. It's just gone up by two fifty a six pack. It's crazy. Shocking. It's now very. It's your, it's your advertising that's advertising. causing the popularity, Bill. I know. That's why they can't keep up the. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's a uh, supply and demand. Simple supply <laughs> chain issue. You want to show off your whatnot books again, uh, Mark, or anything? No, I'm going to show. I've actually got some. Yes. Yeah, so I'm. I will show a couple of them. I can find the things. Uh, so I'm doing uh, the first ever virtual <laughs> comic convention on whatnot. So um, they've done a good job, actually. Um, so there's, there's, um, it's happening between the 11th and 14th of April. There are 1,200 exhibitors, of which I am one. <laughs> so what are your goals um what are your financial goals tomorrow and especially friday because you were giving away the 98200 are you raising the bar or? um so well i mean they're my normal shows so these are the shows that i would normally run on those evenings and last i generally take three to four hundred pounds a show i would hope that with the what not con thing and the giveaways that I'm doing, I would hope to get a bit more than that. So, you know, maybe £400 a show, something like that. Um, you cleared so, like 800 what, two weeks ago? I did, I did have a show where we did, I did 600 one show and 300, so I did 900 that week. Yeah. But that was because I sold quite a lot of really quite nice vintage comics. Yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of things you weren't expecting to sell. Were just I wasn't expecting to sell any. So it was quite a nice surprise. That was a, um, that was a fun ass show there. That was like a good somebody show. Somebody caught on. Yeah, somebody um, caught um, on. Yeah. So what not con? So they've um, what they do is so you they 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 invite you to it. You can't comply. They you have to be invited. So I got invited. So I said yes, um, and really good actually. So they they sort of send you. Um, all sorts of promotional material, uh, and then they sent they sent me a box which arrived today that had got about ten comics in it, which I get for free, uh, and some of them are selling already on eBay for so like thirty, forty, fifty dollars. Whoa! Um, yeah. So um, that's the X Men ones, I'm assuming. It is the X Men. All of their money are easily parted, as they say. Uh, X actually, uh, one of the, I think the most valuable one I've got is not one of the X Men ones, Lilo yeah. and Stitch. <laughs> uh, that's quite pricey, but this is the one I think is the priciest. This, yeah. Oh, yeah, a, this is a, uh, a, 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 what, a what not con exclusive, uh, Amazing Spider Man 252 facsimile. So, this is the first black suit facsimile and it is a virgin so the the trade dress which they sent me two of is already on ebay selling at 35 and i have seen no virgin copies at all on sale so so I Mark, I kind of one bet would pay 35 dollars for a crappy old bloody facsimile for god's sake so because it's, it's rare or, because it's rare and it's modern so and there's no <laughs> so at the moment, nobody else has got one of these. Unless you're a <laughs> what not exhibitor, you, nobody can have one of those. Um, yeah. So is is what not com part? Is is that part of what not or a separate group that's no, no, it's what not. What, what not are doing it to promote comic sales? Because uh, what not do more than just comic sales? Yes, they do. So they they do a similar thing. They'll do similar events for Pokemon cards. And they'll probably do a similar event for vintage clothing, you know, the top categories. Um, and do you like, do you have to pay like a subscription fee to no, them, or no, are they happy with just commissions? No, they take they take ten percent of your sales. And that's it. That's it. That's and they're sending you promotional stuff. 
Yeah, well, so they sent me 10 comics, probably value about 150 to 200 dollars free. That's a great deal. Wow, that's a great deal. Oh, Bill, you tool. Oh um, my god, what? Bill, Bill. Can't even call me uh, yeah, uh, so we got that what? one. We got a this is really nice. I'm putting out Comic Mag Musings, Bill. This what? is, um, I was saying that the Comic Mag Musings, Bill. So this is, oh, um, you know, Boris Karloff did a series for Gold Key called uh, Boris Karloff Thrillers, I think they were called. Yeah. Or mystery. I've got... I, I, uh, I Tales of one. Mystery. I yeah. Think. Tell, yeah. Oh, tell um, something like that. Well, they've revived it. Gold Key have actually revived the Boris Karloff series, right. which is one of their bestsellers. And Whatnot have done a Whatnot exclusive. Uh, and this is a Whatnot oh, exclusive. Still going, then. Sorry? A gold key still going then? Yeah, presumably. Somebody bought them. Someone, someone bought the the name out. Somebody and, bought the name. Yeah, it's not the same. And, and, and they're trying to bring back that style of anthology comic, you know, like yeah. they did with Twilight Zone and like stuff who, like that. Boom or IDW were one of them. Right, brothers. right. So this one's this one I got two of. This is Disney, uh, okay. Leo, and Stitch. Um, I've already had somebody independently come to me and say, oh, can I buy that off you? Uh, I've actually put this up as giveaway. I've got two of these, and um, I'm putting wow. them up as giveaways on both my shows. Wow. Is that a recent comic, then? Yeah, quite it's, a it's, no, it's, just been, it's, it's literally been produced for this convention. Oh, um, wow. So they're this, very limited edition. The, the, they're very limited. Then they're, they're not available. So and they've done them about a month ahead of when they would be available to anybody publicly. And I'd imagine like you'd get one Virgin variant, and you got the Spider Man. I got the Spider Man. Yes, that's correct. So yeah. I'd imagine that's one the best the one to have. <laughs> that is the best, I'm sure. Uh, and this is a nice foily thing called Grim. Um, Grim wow. number one. Uh, where's me? Where's me? Um, where's me? And here's the here are the two. Uh, so they're, they're doing a series, it comes out in May. Uh, it's based on X Men 97 because of the cartoon series that's currently on Disney. Uh, and they've done they've got four, uh, they got four, um, artists Hello, to do variant covers. So there are four variant covers, and they are available in standard virgin silver foil and gold foil and gold foil signed okay so it was random which ones you got i ended up with two silver foils um so here is the first oh, one i thought one was blue foil on your video they look yeah they, i mean foils are always difficult to show on camera uh this is uh, by an artist called ariel olivetti and, love him love ariel olivetti and this is limited to 500 copies. So that will only ever be 500 of these. Kyle. Yeah. I'll let it get to this station, honey. And this one is by... Uh, uh, this is by... Maria Albergetti. Stephen LaRocca. Oh, come on, Kyle. Uh-uh. So, yeah. Anna Maria Damn. Albergetti. No. Well, I don't know what to do with those. I'm, and it's I, you you want me to have that Olivetti? Here's what you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've put it in my show, and I'm stuck. Quite a lot of people are starting them at a pound. Um, I haven't quite decided what to do. I've literally put them in the sh my Saturday show at twenty five quid. But oh, uh, there's an bill. image you have to look at. Look, nice, sweet Neil Adams. There's wow. an aerial in Darren to help me figure out. Even though it says number four inside, this is actually number one. I don't Why is that guy wearing a nappy? Huh? Why is that guy wearing a nappy? Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> he's some kind of uh, weird dude. wrestler or something. Yeah, or something. Diaper. But there's this Ariel Olivetti image that you have to look up. It's Spider Man and Hulk standing at a urinal. And Spider Man's pee pee peeping, pee pee peeping <laughs> with his uh, little tinglys going off. And he's oh, standing next to him taking a whiz. It is one of the funniest comic images I've ever seen. And Olivetti drew it. What year is that psycho from, Bill? 
This psycho is from Skywall. 1972. Yeah, that's a Skywall, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So like you said, again, that uh, Kyle I got, Well, I, the, these are some of those I, I recently got from my friends that are clearing out a house. And this is... Uh, 74. Okay, I have to see that one. Yeah. It's it's missing a corner, but this one I had never heard of before. They got the Curtis Communications in the scream, corner. Scream, scream, scream. Beautiful. Scream, scream. Man, if that wasn't one of skeleton cover slinger, nothing would. Yeah, right. You all scream for ice cream. Oh, these are good. I like these. That they're is really, such a good bad. series. That that Dracula Lives magazine is such a good series. Any of these with Bruce Lee uh, are worth uh, a lot. Uh, Jim Kelly. That's, that's right and about the I'm time. pretty sure all the Bruce Lee covers were by Neil Adams. Yeah, they were. Right they up were. to issue 17. They Bruce were. Bruce Lee. And, and um, this Master of Kung Fu cover is also Neil. That's beautiful, isn't it? That Neil, Neil the deal. They could not miss with those magazines in the early to mid seventies. They they just could not miss. Hell, right through the early eighties, actually. David Carradine. They just they could not yeah, miss. They were, the art in TV it was that, like the worst like, artist in any of those books were like Gene Cullen and Rudy Nabri, and if that's at the bottom of the barrel. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's, I mean, you're still top tier at the bottom of the barrel. Isn't that great stuff? And those okay, covers. Who, who's that, Bill? Who's the artist there? Earl um, Norum, right? Pajola. Oh, yeah, I mean, they just didn't miss Pujola. I don't even know. Pajola. If, if I had Pujola. my way, I'd have a lot more than four magazine boxes because I'd, I'd have all those. Has that got some kind of a shop stamp on the back cover across the forehead of the skull? Yep. What's that shot stamp say on the back of it, Bill? On the back. On the back. Oh, the side. oh, oh, oh. Allo News and Bookstore here in San Antonio. Uh, July 12th, 1972. Nice. And it was a newsstand that was here for years. And they sold comics and they sold these kind of magazines. And then this, of course... Worst world. Crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's the, the, uh, that's the uh, uh, Marvel version of Mad Magazine. Actually started in the 50s. Then they brought it back in the 70s. Right, Kyle? In that yep. Was, on, on yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Well, ideas. And it, they did a lot of magazine stuff. And they kept trying to throw in shit and see what stuck to the wall. And then when the mad craze hit, crazy head off i mean they only did about a quarter of the print run of mad but and again those most of those crazies were great because they're full of kurtzman stuff okay so check this out nice oh, man richard corbin they, that's very nice uh that's in really good condition as well isn't it i know it's yeah it really is it's and that's really like a 74 shape. isn't it that's a 73 73 74 73 yeah. But check that check that artistry out. Isn't that wonderful? That guy yeah, Corbin, was, Corbin is uh, very identifiable. Very I, I know, very. And when I saw that, I was like, well, that's probably one for the for the bill pile, my own pile. Yeah. <laughs> that, it, it's kind of hard not to say that was the peak on comic artistry right there. Early 70s, I, I think it really peaked. This I mean, is like at the heart. This is at the heart of like uh, this yeah. is uh, probably right around the same time, if not a little older than um, The Exorcist. Yeah, I've um, got so a UK very like that. You do? And the awesome. UK magazine called, De called Demon, like three issues of Demon, and it reprints those vaults of horror. With oh the same my cover gosh, it's amazing! But isn't that a great cover? I love yeah. that cover. Yeah, they, uh, I mean, as far as comics history goes, of course, the late 30s with the Hogarths and the Raymonds and all them was great. But as far as realistic painting things went, 
when you had everything from Jeff Jones, all these, just it, you just couldn't get better. Adams at his absolute pinnacle. Wrightson. I don't know who Jad is, but Jad is the artist on this. Jad. That's what it says. Cover artist Jad. Jad. That's all it says no. in the interior. Yeah, it says that in the interior. What issue is it? What issue uh, is it? This is number eighteen, April seventy four. Yeah, I'd imagine there's some pseudonyms going on there, but. Oh my God! So this cover, I can't find. Well, let me see. Let me look inside and see. I mean, um, I guess I'd I'd call sixty nine to seventy. So Jad is Jose Antonio Domingo. There you go. Oh wow! I love that. Um, no wonder he shortened it to Jad. I'd call sixty. I'd call sixty nine to seventy four the Renaissance period of comic art. Absolutely. So this doesn't give cover credit, and I can't find an artist, but this is an absolute gorgeous cover. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I mean, and they're they're it's all they're so like good. painters, it's so good. and to think it's some of this, you know, six. and you Pablo saw, Marcus, saw, Pablo Marcus did the back cover. Isn't that weird? That looks there like you the, go. Uh, Hulk. I mean, you saw you saw Catherine <laughs> Jones's full paintings. They did these covers off of. She'd paint, she'd do these paintings on six foot tall canvases, like six by four foot canvases, and then they'd be comic covers and you just lose everything in it. But these paintings they would do would be just enormous. This is something in between Wally Wood and Frazetta. I don't know. It's, it's, I, I don't know who the artist is. It looks like, uh, Bowie. Oh, it's, uh, C.W. Alley or C.W. Uh, Sully? Here, I'll let you guys see. I would have thought Von Bodie, but yeah. And that's a painting. That's Kelly. Oh, backwards, sorry. That's Kelly. That's C.W. Kelly. Oh, it uh, is? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Who's that? Um, that's but that's a painting. You got to think about that. That's a painting, and that's a signature on a painting, so that's at least like three foot by... Right. So they're right. pulling these off of classic paintings of these masters. No, I agree. I but agree. granted, they just quit paying the money for it, but holy crap. So are you guys ready to see the crazy stuff? Oh, oh, as soon as all this commotion stops in my neighborhood. Okay. Well, wait a second. What do we got? Okay, so, so these are these number are, one and number two of the Harvey oh, spirits. The Harvey. Right. Uh, can you put number two on my pile? I've got one. I haven't got two. Sure. You got it. And those are original stories. The, oh, I think oh, you, what the back two or three pages would be 40s reprints. That but, was the first Prince right. of a Spirit for about 15 years, I think. Yeah. What's that? That's an original. This yes, this is the comic book that came in newspapers, and it's where the spirit, all his strips first appeared. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't know how much you want paper. for it, but put it in my pile and tell me how much you want for it. Okay. Yes. But it gets I've got a it gets even better. It gets even better. So here's another one. And the, and you have to realize these are over eighty years old, man. Yeah thing they're they're i mean i started doing the math the other day and it freaked me out yeah. i know it's scary right it? on the 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 coming from there have you got a screen open or something and then so this i'm 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 say i'm giving this to my my friend uh dave but that's the third appearance nice, of nice. yeah okay oh, it's got some damage though it's so. got all of that Hey, still, hell, I'd want that in my collection all day long, and I'm not even a DC guy. Well, no, it's it's wonderful stuff. And but yeah, um, but I've got here, Johnny. I so, traded up with Johnny, and Johnny gave me a 1984 or 1984 1944 Montreal Gazette Spirit. Yeah, that's uncut. 
Wow. It's uncut. It's 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 a wartime. It's uncut. It's in pristine condition. It's brilliant. So these are they're kind of a mess, but they're the only ones of these on the census that I've been able to find. But these are about 10 of the, uh, sadly, that's part of them, but they're the only ones, so it's kind of beggars can't be choosers. But the, look where they come from. They come from my hometown of San Antonio. Yeah. And I never knew that uh, the spirit came down the south. And so I was really kind of shocked. And I can't find any other San Antonio light spirits on any census. So these may be the only ones that survive. I mean, you got to realize these are 83 years old. 80. Yeah. I mean, that's just so weirdo. It's amazing. It still boggles my mind. But I have like four or five sacks of these, and each one probably has maybe five of the comic book sections. And so well, they were eight pagers, right? They, they uh, kept the, copying. Uh, in some cases they were 20. In some cases they were 20. Hmm. Um, and in this case, I think they were probably about here. I'll count them there. See, they're not even together, which I'm going to have to figure out something about that, but they are, they're 20 pages. Yeah. They, uh, cause it says, Oh no, there's, I'm sorry. 16 pages. Yeah. But that's a quintessential cover, you know, and this has been reprinted a million times. And, um, but some of these, I mean, these are just groundbreaking if you think about it. And, Every time the logo was different, yeah, you know. Well, and, I mean, what do they what do they call the number one award in comics? Well, the Eisner, the Eisner. Eisner yeah. Yeah. That's a good one, Kyle. I mean, it, how could you not be that influential if, like, you know, hey, they won an Eisner? <laughs> this is a football mm -hmm. story, and he turns it into <laughs> a, a goalpost. I guess go, go post like that 83 years ago, but that's weird. <laughs> but that's that, great. It's that's just the great. spirit in the shape it's of go. So yeah. And um, let me see. I think there might be one more in here. He's quite playful with his logo, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Very playful. He played around with him a lot. He was groundbreaking with him. You know, I, I met him like four different times and had dinner with him and Jack Kirby one night. A lot of other people were there too. I think Bill Sinkevich might have even been there. And it was just like, it was so amazing at the time. But even, but now it's like, you can say you saw Hendrix or something. You know, I got to eat with Eisner and Kirby. Wow. It's one of those weird things. Did you never get any pictures back in the day? No, you know, and I could kick myself. Mm hmm. Didn't have so much access to cameras and that, then you did really. Then you like not like well, now you got it on your yeah, phone. You, take yeah. you could buy those you want, uh, disposable ones too, but I just never thought to do it because well, which are called I, what? I don't what know. What are the disposable cameras called? I don't know. Brownies. No, those weren't those weren't disposable. Well, that's where they stem from. Was the brownies. oh 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 oh? I mean, I the the Kodachrons, the thirty five millimeter throwaways, I, all that. I got, I got. They you. stem from the brownies, and the brownies oh. is named after the cartoon. Here's track. some more. These are just, and this has maybe more like eight in here, but it's look at this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, shame we ever took them out of the it magazine. Had, did a big cutting job, eh? It had three different uh series running concurrently. One of them was Lady Luck, right, Kyle? Isn't that it? Yeah, Lady Luck and uh, the Octopus or whatever. No, Lady Luck had her own. I don't know the other one. 
her own strip. And I think she might have been Eisner also. I can't remember. So it was the Eisner Iger studio that did these and that did all this art. That's Ebony, of course. And uh, go to the next one. Isn't that amazing? Mm. I mean, do those three, are you, I mean, are they for sale or what are you doing with them? Are they, I'm going to sell some of them. Okay. I'm going to sell some. No, the fact that they're not on any for I think makes them pretty, pretty decent. Yeah, even though, those are any, any original spirit sections, even though they're not worth a ton, ton of money. Well, they're still the first unicorns two, the first and they're probably worth. The first two I showed you are worth about two hundred a piece. Yeah, so I was gonna say some of them are in the hundreds, but I mean, the worst case scenario, you're still looking at fifty bucks per. Wow. I'm in a puzzle. I'm in my puzzle room. Anybody want to see some puzzle, puzzle, puzzle? Hold on. Hey, sir. Bill. Yeah. Can I make you physically ill for a second? Please, no. Yeah, you can. Put it away. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. January 30th, 1943. Wow. These predate it by a year. Uncut. That's amazing. Fold on this oh one. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's exactly what's in, in these. These that's are pristine. Crazy. This, I mean, it's got some wear and tear on the bottom corner. That's amazing. But I mean, look that's... at the whiteness, the wartime. <laughs> My dad was only five when that came out. But uncut. So, hold on. What's, what's happened to the ones that Bill's got? Has someone folded along the line and then torn them or something? Honestly, they could have been ready to go bind them, but honestly, they were probably in a stack that got a little rat chew on them. No, you know, it's weird. It, it Well, it could be, but it, I can't really tell, quite frankly. It's just, it's just wear and tear, though. That's yeah. all it is. It's just wear and tear. It's not ripped. It's like stacked and just decades of wear and tear. Oh, you know, there's, I would have been torn out carelessly by uh, um, it could have been, been torn carelessly because they have yeah. the cut lines on them and stuff like that. So basically, it could have been somebody just ripping them to section them off. But would yeah. they have been stapled into something? They, they will never take stapled. them apart to staple them in some. They were they were never stapled. I they, mean, if the if those were bound, it would be a clean kind of rip or a uh, cutaway. Bound, bound, possibly, yeah. Yeah, but see if that if they would have been bound and torn away, that there's there's glue on the side when they're bound. Yeah, a paper clip held them together for decades. Yeah. Decades, but yeah, that's just carelessness. That's just hey, we're gonna keep the comic section together, tear well, it off, and give it to the, the good kids. thing. Is no, at I least we have it, 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 this is the only one on the census currently, or it's not even on the census because I haven't put it there yet. But but there are no San Antonio like so, you know, I hate to keep saying the same thing, beating a dead horse, but I'm excited. No time. Check that out. Beauty. Isn't that great? He was a genius. What do you think of that, Mark? I love it. I love all these. It's just fantastic stuff. And then this one. Has he drawn a picture of himself at the top yes. of the page? Ah. No. Uh, uh, it was him. There was another one in here that he parodied himself 
and and drew drew himself from the bat. Let me see if I can find it real easily here. It's so hard going through so hard. their uh, their newsprint, and you know, oh, here it is. That's him drawing himself. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's just yeah. fantastic. Ow. Yeah, I love all his new. That's pretty really cool. And uh, okay, so let me show you. So this is one of my favorite covers in here. <laughs> Isn't that great? It's just. Uh, it's just riveting. And, and you know, it's a loose style. It's an old, old school comic style, but and there's something just wonderful about it. I just, I'm absolutely happy that I got these. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to yeah. do, quite yeah. frankly. Um, you know, but there's, gosh, there's a lot of them. So, you know, I'm going to have to Every one of them is beautiful. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to find a way to put them in in like um, some kind of folio or something that I can just you know put them in there sealed or something that you can open and look at, but not bother because you know I you know and so for for the first hour after I got them, I was kind of mad that they were messed up, and then I realized. You know, and then I looked them up on the census and realized these are it. And well, that's just why they are. You know, you've acquired them that way. You haven't done it to them. I mean, no, you know, no, yeah. and that's true. That's true. And oh, that's just screwed, how I screwed up some of my own comics. That, that, that's that's how most of them were. You look up Sunday strips from that time, and they're just in tatters. Yeah, because yeah. it's newsprint and it's that old. You're and, just and, be and think, think about it too. They're 83 years old. I mean, that's what freaks me out. I didn't, I didn't think about it being that old, you know. But but then when I was hanging out with Will Eisner, that was 40 years after this. Yeah. And now that's 40 years after that. Yeah. So it's yeah. so weird, you yeah. know. My life is fun most of the time, and that that was a fun fun time, and that was at the Dallas Fantasy Fair which was run by Larry Langford and Larry and I had reconnected on Facebook and we're talking about the good old days and he dropped dead one day. So, you know, which the Dallas fantasy fair, just being at one of those, that's a historical event. Yeah. And I ran, I, well, I co-ran the, the artists. So uh, being there and I served as driver to them. So I I'm, probably said this a million times on here so i apologize if i'm being my dad and repeating my stories but uh i, I <laughs> look once, who you're talking to bill i ain't gonna complain i know i know <laughs> but i once had i once had uh frank miller dave stevens and Bern hogarth in my car at the same time Ooh. And, and i was taking for and Bern hogarth of course was the second tarzan comic strip artist after hal foster who left to do yeah. Prince Valiant, and um, uh, he he was a hoot, man. He was hilarious. He was an older he guy, like have, extraordinary. He must have, and he must he have was, took one a hell of a lot of planning to kidnap all three of them at exactly the same I time. Know, <laughs> I know. I kept thinking, dude, I could take them to a party or something. Yeah, yeah. I wondered what happened to Dave Stevens. He sort of disappeared, didn't he? He died. Yeah, Bill <laughs> Seller. But but this was back in the day. This is back before. This is five years before it became a movie, Rocketeer. And uh, uh, Frank Miller was uh, sit, set up front, and Oops. Dave and Burns sat in the back seat. And Frank and, and Dave kept saying how great uh, uh, Watchman was. And then Frank said, Yeah, that Dave Gibbons, he knew he could draw that well. And then within a year, they were working on the Martha Washington books together. So, you know, it's kind of funny that I, I, I got to see all that, like, brewing in a way. And uh, and Bern Hogarth's in the back going, where's the party? <laughs> so it was, it was a lot of fun, though. It was, it was, 
<laughs> it was like in these pins. Uh, his is a party in the penthouse. And I go, well, there's not really a penthouse, but it is on the tenth floor. And, I, and he goes, well, I'll see you there. And he was there. He was hilarious. He was he, he was something else. But uh, uh, I I, I kind of pissed him off. Uh, I go I go. So burn. Do your best, oh. Tarzan. Yell. And he goes. Yeah, that's as much as you're gonna get. And I go, that sounded more like the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, Bill, that's about as funny as a funeral. <laughs> and uh, I, I was, uh, oh, memories. I have to so, say. So, Bill, you were pissing off uh, comic industry greats from an early age for decades, for decades. Okay. And um, it's well, a character I, trait. I, the first time I met Stan, I was 14, and my uncle for years... It's a superpower. It is. It is. Uh, uh, but it, it, it's funny because I met Stan for the first time, and we were talking, and my uncle, who was always the smartest guy in the room kind of guy, worked for the State Department, a really nice guy, but a little full of himself, but uh, he insisted, uh, and he was a highbrow kind of guy, but he insisted that you pronounced it submariner and that that's what <laughs> they intended. And so I told, I, t I told Stan, I go, Stan, for years, my uncle has been insisting that it's submariner. And I go, is, how is it pronounced? And he goes, well, I hate to tell you this, Bill, Billy, but, uh, your uncle's been wrong for years. And <laughs> and he goes, it's Submariner. Come on. Do you think anyone would want to read a comic called Submariner? And someone in the background goes, I would. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But uh, those are great stories, man. It, but but my I uncle. We have heard that before, but it does. It is worth. I'm sorry. Okay, Dadville, Dadsville Central. But it's, uh, it is, no, that one's worth retelling, Bill. I'll let you off you, on that one. Thank you. And uh, that and the tattoo story are probably my two favorite st stories to tell that I forget I tell over and over and over and over again. So um, so that's that's what I have this week. Um, I'm, I'm pretty proud of these spirits. Uh, I just have to figure out how to sell them, you know, and which ones I'm going to keep. I am going to keep some of them. Uh, I'm probably going to keep some of the cooler covers, of course, but, uh, but they're all cool. I mean, this one, this one to me seems important because you never had just a static shot shot of him. It was always kind of a winding landscape scene or something you know, where they were. So I kind of feel like, and this was November 41. So this might be towards the beginning of the run. I don't know. I think it started in the summer of 40. Oh, okay. Then it had been going. It's it just happens early, to be it, a, It's okay. newer, but it started in like. Eight. Isn't that great? I it's either the I summer of 40 or the spring of 41, but I think it was the summer of 40. He got that on the, off the ground. Okay. Okay. But those are, I've never, and I mean never, seen that many of those in one oh, place. I know. Ever. I know. I know. And, and also, I guess I left them at the house, but also with these, I got those real rare, um, Eisner uh, reprints. They're kind of small, but they're black and white. And uh, uh, I got, I don't know if I got a full set, but I got quite a few of those and they're really nice. So apparently this, uh, this guy was really into um, uh, his artwork. So. Understandably. So yeah. Will Eisner um, American original. And he and Iger had, um, wasn't it, wasn't an Iger? Yeah, Bob Iger. Kyle, yeah. Yeah, Bob and, Iger. Uh, and, and they they had the preeminent, well, Kirby and Simon and Kirby came out of their studio, if I'm not mistaken, right, Kyle? Yeah. Yeah, and then they yeah, started. Yeah, if you were own. anybody, you came out of the Eisner Iger studio. And then they started their own based in the same, like, time period. I mean, uh, 
not based uh, in the same time period. Like early, well, I've, I've got a complete set of the kitchen sink Eisner war copy, uh, war reprints, which goes for about 75 to 80 issues. Wow, out, I didn't even know about those. I yeah, came know. out in the early 80s, I think. Kitchen sink did a whole lot, but what happened with them is Eisen, of course, was still around, uh, yeah, and he did. Uh, original covers for every single issue so and he was must have been in his 70s or 80s at the time he was um, probably he is probably in his early 70s yeah, yeah. early 70s yeah, yeah. so uh, but he went on for about 10 years i mean it was quite a long running series because they reprinted everything so it went on for 84 issues so even though i didn't you know, even realize he did that many war comics until recently yeah, 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 they all came out during the war year, so it was a re it was a reproduction of all the um, all the war issues from Kitchen Sink. Oh wow, fantastic That's run! Crazy. Yeah. But uh, well, that's that's all I've got this week. We haven't gotten anything great in uh, this week yet. Uh, well, uh, Alex is actually my buddy. Um, Alex Alsus, by the way, I'll give him credit. Okay, so Kyle, that piece on the right there, third from the left, four down, goes in that slot there. Or yeah. just, <laughs> four, four down, three along there. All right. Thank you, Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> uh, I, I saw it. So he's now remaking Frankenstein, which I think is fantastic. Oh, that'll be good. And, and, er, but every time I see him, I think it's Mark and it really <laughs> freaks me out. And I'm like, Wait, there is a similarity. I, I agree. can't so tell you all all more. I mean, it's frightening. Yeah. Just like me and Robert Plant. But, yeah. uh, baby, baby, baby. We're just uh, gonna, so we've got lookalikes for me, Gray and bill so we just have to work lookalikes out for kyle and uh darren, darren. reminds me darren reminds me of of some british actor and i can't i maybe some guy who was on doctor uh, ray winston michael kane <laughs> yeah yeah darren and, yeah. Kyle look like, darren and kyle could have been separated at birth what's it all about <laughs> He came uh, first. I was the afterbirth. Quins. Uh, right. I'll do my Ray Winston impersonation. Get so you know what? Off, you know what Michael Caine was great <laughs> in was that movie uh, Something Scoundrels with uh, Mike, Michael Michael Caine. Dirty and Rotten Martin. Scoundrels. Yeah. Dirt, what wasn't that a great movie? Yeah. Oh my God, those guys. <laughs> yeah. That I, you know, I loved a lot of those early Steve Martin movies. Those were fantastic. You know, hard to believe that's early now because he'd already probably been making movies 15 years when that came out. But I also he like debuted, he debuted on Ed Sullivan. Did he really? Comedian. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was a writer on the Smothers Brothers show. And then he was also a writer on the Glenn Campbell show, Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour. And he... Um, uh, then he All I mean is that. this Sharpie. Yeah. <laughs> and this thermos. And this this can. This can of purple haze. <laughs> and, this, and this and this remote. And this and this phone. <laughs> and this mouse. Right, okay. Darren, are you gonna show us some um stonkers that you picked up recently? Yeah, show us the buttes. Show oh, us the oh, okay. Share us the oh, just check hey, the Bill, just in case you're curious, I don't think Darren's gonna pull out anything as cool as that stack of spirits you just did. No chance. No chance. No well, I'm chance glad at you all. Guys like this so much because they well, really you may that. be holding some of the only copies of most of those. I know, and that's frightening, isn't it? Yeah. And it's sad they're not. You know, they have those rough corner. Those rough. Uh, that rough side, but hey, it's better than nothing. That's what I yeah. keep telling myself. So. It is better than nothing. Have we uh, lost Gray, man, or is he still with us? No, he's watching he's television. Oh, we're, he so we're so interesting that Gray is watching something on television. 
is watching the latest. I am. I am working on a video for my Patreon supporters. So yeah. I've tried oh. to complete my defenders run. I just completed yeah. my defenders run. I've just done a video of my whole defenders run plus footage from a video from 2019 when I was going through my defenders. So you can see how I've come from like eight defenders comics to 152. So defenders let me comics. get this correct, Gray. Rather than watching us, you're finding your watching yourself more interesting. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm listening. I'm listening to the words of wisdom that every now and again fall out of your mouth accidentally. But, you know, other than that, you know, it's all good fun. It's all, I, I, it's all, I'm getting on with stuff. It's all unintentional. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Nice. Best things I've okay, ever well, said. Okay, so that. I'm going to watch my YouTube channel while, while, and occasionally, if you say anything interesting, I might, I might respond. <laughs> cool. That's funny. You want to Great. I think uh, it's, uh, uh, I think I'm about to go big, hopefully. All right, you want to say some comics, yeah? That's what I was going to say. Hold on, no, <laughs> don't go big yet. I'm only halfway oh, no. down my steps. I've had to stop twice already so I don't tumble. Oh, I'm sorry, man. But I got to go tinkle. When I get downstairs, I got to go tinkle, and then I'm going to sit down outside, and I want to see what you got to come you with. You look like a serial killer there. Well, I'll there, show, up the I'll stairs. Show, you kind of look like. Mother, I said them. get back in the attic. So okay. should I should right. I mute it. this when I tinkle or do y'all want to hear me tinkle? I don't, I don't we, mind. Oh my god, look what's come out of the attic. Yeah. <laughs> what's come right, out of that's wanna... the name of the movie. What's yeah, come, what's out, come of out, out of the attic? Do you want to see some uh, you remember those um cowboy ones that were old old Atlas? Do you want to yes. see some more vintage Atlas? As long as they're not cowboy comics. Vin, this is proper vintage Atlas from the days of yore. Okay, hold on, hold, hold, hold on. Oh no, those are those are those are Atlas. Atlas from the seventies. Hey, stupid! That's hilarious. With a nice bit of fold as well. Right. These, these are, this is the this is the other half of the box from the auction. Okay. So uh, we, although we did see a lot of really cool stuff, we saw some spiders and other stuff. So I don't know what order it's going to come out in. It's, it's completely random. This were they completely mixed? No, they were. So when I went there to view them, so they'd already been lifted from wherever, like the loft, into boxes to transport them to the auction house. Right. Then I got there, and then I was looking at them. So I would take a batch out and then put a batch in, and so on. And then when I actually ended up winning the lot, I then had to transfer them out of these crappy plastic tubs, which were damaging them, oh, yeah. into, into comic boxes to get them out of the auction house. So I did that fairly quickly yeah. just by taking a lump yeah. and so yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there we go. Cool. Nice. That's lovely. That's a lovely series. I've got it. That's uh, and, uh, uh, that is um, uh, Red Circle, which is uh, Archie's archie sub thing it's the second time Ooh, I've neil had adams there's a neil adams cover uh planet of vampires there you go that's one of the better he did, he did a bunch of those covers actually he did yeah he did yeah he did iron jaw as well he did uh -oh. that one. yeah that's oh, my wait, favorite. wait no he did not that is not him that, that is not adam like, that, that is... looks like vince coletta actually yeah. which is horrifying and who started atlas seaboard uh, uh, Martin Goodman. Martin Goodman. And who's Martin Goodman? Somebody other than Bill? Uh, he's he was the uh, original owner of Marvel, wasn't he? Yep. Hey, and spirit. who's his nephew? Stanley. Oh, what, marriage. what number is that? I haven't got that, I don't think. Stanley. Number eight. What number, what number is it? Oh. Number eight. Can you put that on my pile, please? I haven't got that one. And who's the artist of that? Oh, oh, he's he. Well, he's he's not. He's not uncle by Stan's marriage to his, to Joan. He's uh, un uncle by marriage. I I've got all these because he married uh, Stan's dad's sister. Sister, yeah, right. Um, so, who did this? Who did the art in that run of sorcery? Um, uh, Gray Morrow. Uh, Morrow. Gray, Gray Morrow. Morrow. And where's Gray Morrow from? Oh, he's from Indianapolis, or he was well, in just north of Indianapolis. He drew all those right up the road here. Wow. Every one of those. 
That may be Neil Adams, but I can't. Uh, Neil Adams name. did one. I'm not sure he did. No, one. that's not him. That's Rich Buckler. It that's like. that's Ernie Chway. Oh, Bill, is it? That's. Bill, that's I'm going to pick on you. What's yes. the name of this comic? I, oh, Barbarian. It's, uh, it's, it's Barbarian, Barbarian number really? one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I always forget to look up it. You know, some of their titles were the title of the character, but most of them were not. No. Oh, look, like that that is adventures. harder than yeah. Buck to find. That is, that is a ghost right there. But found it. That is a ghost. I have Hold that up again. I have never seen that in person. The one before? No, that, that one right there. I, I I've never that. seen a copy of that. Uh, wow. Can you put that on what, my what is that one? That's three. issue four, isn't it? Issue three or four. Number, number two. I, I enjoy always the bar Number two? Yeah. Barbar it says Barbaric Adventures, number two. So I think or Barbaric Adventures, because I enjoy always a regular barbarian. Series. Yeah, I've never seen that. That is that, yes. I don't know if I've seen it either. That, that might be well, that I'm, rare. I am so wrong. I'm so wrong. Uh, inside the Indicia says Iron Jaw, volume one, number two, March 1975. Yeah, that yeah, is that is, that is that is an Atlas ghost, kind of like the Vickies, kind of like the magazines. It is just a ghost. You know what? If it wasn't for that sticker, this would be such a it's close to. It's top very fine, but I don't know what that takes off it. But a lot, sadly. I don't yeah, think that's I that's a, that's one of them fucking the ghosts. Because there's a million of that, those. You know, they only had so much of a print run, but there's a that's million. That's early of Howard Taken. Yeah. The number ones are common, and the later the series yeah, go, the, the, the later issues that are less common because the print they 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 realized they were going under, and the print runs the Howard Taken again. Same one. Same one. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, Goodman yeah. just you're did it. Eyes, you're killing my eyes at that double vision. They Good, even snapped uh, it in the same place. Goodman did uh, that to uh, just piss off them. That's my favorite X Men comic right there. That's, that's a really good favorite. one. Even though it's half reprints. So the original one. So the original one was going to be he and Jean leaving yeah. because she had survived. But they decided they had to kill her, and then of course they immediately came up with that bogus reason why I, it was. I really kind of want that for the is this fifteen, is this 15, 15 DC comic. Wow. Most oh, yeah. underrated book oh, in nineteen eighty one, nice right there. That's a nice one. Which collection? Which Ren collection Anderson? Was it, that was eighty one. Oh, yeah. Good book. Oh, this is the auction. Oh, this is your ten thousand dollar auction. <laughs> yeah. That that case are, there's there's a pricey book right there. Why? Well, that machine that's man. Why the, is it crashing? That's the third appearance, Alpha Flight, and the first appearance of Jack O' Lantern. Wow! That's the first appearance of the who became Hobgoblin. That's mm. a major oh, Spider-Man key right there. That's like a forty-dollar uh, book. Crazy. This is this is a real weird look. Look at the blue discoloration here, blue, and look at the blue discoloration and the lack of red yeah. here. Yeah. I think that's been laying some like no, uh, that's a printing error, dude. That's a printing error. error. Yeah, you sure that, it's not a like something's been on it yeah. like that and it's caught the sun? No, no, that's uh, not fading, that's uh, not uh, fading because fading would show yeah, up. That's no, a printing error, it's not a defect, and that's not even a it's defect. a defect. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's it's not even considered a defect, it's a printing error. Fair but, yeah, nice. that book's probably worth 40 50 bucks because it's yeah, kind easily. of a Spider Man key. Is Walt that one of the last two issues? Oh no, okay. Uh no, I've got the full set. I had the full set of these. A guy bought half them off me on my uh oh, wow. I've got half left. That's uh, no. 22 and 23. Right. Yet another Yet underrated the, uh, series, Steve Lee Aloha. We might have seen this one already tonight. I'd love to get Steve Lee Aloha on. Oh, a cracker. Those aren't cheap. No, those are really yeah, nice. they've come down, Kyle. They're quite those are super they're quite nice. Wow, they 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 better. I don't know what the hell they're gonna do with uh, Moon Knight now, but they need. Well, they're to do doing it. nothing at the moment. You fuck! Oh my god! I'm a fuck. I win. <laughs> yeah, it used to be me who used to get called a bastard. That's no, another ghost, dude. You are holding another fucking Atlas ghost. 
I believe in the paranormal. I remember, I remember I seeing this ghosts, one, though, dude. I, I have to admit, I have I never seen, seen that, that one. one. I mean, I've yeah, seen I've pictures of, of them. So. I've seen pictures of every issue, but I've yeah. never seen a copy yeah. of that. Yeah. Right, I am going to call be... near Mark me Golden. minus on this issue. Well, well I've never seen, seen a copy of that. I can't remember what I've got on these. I've got nearly all of them. I've seen yeah. pictures, but I've never seen a copy of that. Holy yeah. shit! That is it. A... They were not bad. They were not bad comics at all. Near mint yeah. minus, no question, no question. I like yeah, the Destroyer. I've never a lot. seen that. I, I think person. I have all three issues of Destroyer. <clears throat> I think Destroyer had four issues, didn't it? Was so the now, now, I've, I've seen one or two issues. copies of that out in a while, remember now. but the, that's I'll another ghost. I, I, if there's four, I'm, I, I may have four. I and I've got now. That. Maybe I'm imagining. No, you might be right. I can't remember what made it that high. That's it right there. That's the four issues. That was the four issues of me. You fuck. Oh my Mama God. Again. <laughs> Somebody basically completed the Atlas Seaboard run there. I'm yep. telling you, if you got the, well, you it's already did that. The they did never. I've got you holding. I've got you holding the bazaar for me. You See, got these the are fantastic. Red circle too. The, the red circle sorcerers are great. Um, and uh, that I, that I, almost looks like a photo cover. It's so good by Gray Morrow. So, the Destructor wasn't it? It's called Destructor. Not Love Destroyer. that issue. That's All a good right. issue. Yeah, here, here we go. Hold on, right there. Who is that kissing in the background? Iron Man um, and and Wasp. Yep, Janet, Janet Van Dyne. Stark and Janet Van Dyne. But they missed off the shadow of his mustache. Yep, I noticed that. Uh, mustaches cast no shadow. Yeah, yeah an Ed Hannigan that, classic. Mm. Yeah, that and that has happened. So who who is Tony An Stark MCU. modeled after? Uh, Howard Hughes. Howard Hughes, and what was his look modeled after? Uh. Um, the swashbuckler, uh, Clark, Clark, Clark Gable. Flynn, Clark Gable, right? But Clark now, Gable, that's I thought a faded cover, Flynn. dude. That's what a faded cover looks like. Yeah, that's, that's not that a printing defect. Faded, that's that, yeah. that's that in a store window. That's bit. Uh, well, I don't know. It could have been sat on top of a pile. It could have but been. But that's the top sun thing. damage. I mean, that, yeah, that's what sun damage looks like. Yeah, I know. But the other one looked like it might have had corners sun damaged, so something could have been on it like that for a long while. But either way, who knows? Yet again, another favorite Wonder Man story of mine when he starts to find out he's an actual hero. That's why I like Wonder Man so much because of how he was there. Love that one. God, That's a good one. This Hell, is that might, that might be on my want list just in case set that in my pile. That's an early brood. Yep, he kills yep. the queen, impregnates him, and he kills her. Who dies in that story but doesn't die? Spoiler alert Baron Strucker. Yep, I'm debating having that one put on my pile. God, yeah, you're definitely He's gonna have to go over on my Strucker. list. Wait, 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 wait. I'm moving slow, but wait, 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 wait. Keep those three handy. Damn it, if you're going to go through a run of these, I'm going to find out. No, no, well, I don't know what's coming up next. I can't finish. I don't know what I put in there. I don't know what I put in Keep going, Darren. We can't wait 10 minutes for him to go upstairs and come down again. Keep going. He's not going to anymore anyway, remember? Yeah, what is he? He's finished collecting. He's getting read. He's not getting more in. <laughs> so what were those three issues? Oh God, I want that again, even though I got it. So what were those three issues? Because I'm pretty sure I needed one of them. One six one, one five one, one six two. One five one, one six two, and what? And one six one. I need one six two. Could, Could you please put one six two on my pile? It's on You're just in a run in, in the the close proximity to I'm what I just put it on the random pile that I'm going to clean up. You can never get a story this right. That's nice condition for one of these. 
That is nice. Yeah. I, I actually had one of the one of our watchers um, email me and say, when is Darren ever <laughs> going to get through your piles and tell you what the price is? I don't, yeah. I don't know, mate. Didn't someone say that on Sunday as well? No, someone said that on Sunday, didn't they? Excuse me. The truth is, I'm afraid that once you've had the comics, you won't want me anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's fe it's fear yeah, of letting you know, you know, from account. Oh, hey, dude, my let pile, it be please. Known that my I pile, will please. Always want you my pile, please, everything. on the basis you're never going to get around to sorting them, so I'll put it on my pile. That's now, right. there is, I, you can see some rust spots. I don't care. Through. That is way better than the copy well, that I've got. I like to think of the, of the comics on Darren's piles as being like Schrodinger's like, uh, comic uh, hall. Like, so I, I own it and oh. don't own it all at the same time. So technically, I have those comics in my collection. Wow. But, but it's a Schrodinger's, wow. yeah, Schrodinger's comics. That's an excellent description, yeah. Dre. Um, put Basically. that on my pile. That's going to help me complete my Hulk. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to get that six issues of Hulk is through that. But that was just bright white. Ghost Moon Defenders. But you got them all. I need a 15P Ghost Rider, but I'm actually trying to get rid of stuff. So I need to work out what my next project's going to be. I Yet think another JLA's good one. In, you know? Yet another. Go ahead and put that on my pile, too. I got fantasy masterpieces one and two. Might as well put three. That, those are actually wow. on my point list. I've just noticed, right? Wow, this wow. I mean, ju this is one that was. I've just noticed when I put it on the top of your pile. Right? Look at the collector's bit here. I'm going to yeah. see if I can catch it in the light. It's very shiny. <laughs> it's really high grade. There. Look. Yeah. Yep. Hey, speaking of that book, see that Fantastic Four right yeah, there? It pops. It pops. Mark, you got a pence copy of that issue of the Fantastic Four that I've been wanting to get off you forever that I hope is still in my pile. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Damn it. Is damn it, mean, damn um, it. The, um, uh, yeah, I, that's, yes. That's I nice. need that, too. That's the only way I'm going to complete my original six Hulk run. My pile, Wait, Did you say you want this, too? Yeah, it, it's for the Hulk. It's I want Hulk one through six, and that was spread through twelve issues. That's that. a new excuse. It's for the Hulk. That one too. I need that one too. I'm giving it to the Hulk. I've got I've Mark, got the early I, issues. I, I'm getting it for the Hulk. Little Don't you think that's Hulk a good Hulk. excuse, Mark. I've got the I'm I've got the early Hulk. issues. I, I want one issue of the original yes, Hulk baby. series. That's what I want. I'd be happy with just one of the original six. That is so good. Oh, Creed. I, I know that's hard to say, but that was that was so gross. That Moon Knight run was so grossly. These are really good. Oh. These are really, I think you did well on these. Well, this um, this yeah. stuff, right? Fantasy masterpieces. Yeah. You might find typically. I bought a lot of collections. You might find one or two in battered grade in any collection. Yeah. This guy. I think he's got them all. He's got them all. And, and in that, nice condition. Oh, wow. That's 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 I'm, yeah, just I'm kind of. It. It but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. Look at that. Can we stop well, filling up Kyle's fantasy pile? And sorry, yeah. that, what's so big about that issue? <laughs> yeah. You got between. What's so big about that issue? Why yeah. is that a major issue? Well, it's, it's, not the one it, no, it's not the one where it changes. It, it's Ooh, a reprint of something, but what is it a major reprint of? No oh, idea. the first the first uh, battle between the Human yep. Torch and Namor. The first superhero battle in comics, and that's like, the first reprint three. of it in 1966. Yeah, it went for it went from 1940 to 1966 without being. You know, uh, uh, Darren, yeah. these are uh, ridiculously undervalued. Yeah, uh, they are. I, I think yeah. Hey, the, that's these, another one I need. Put that on Marvel Fantasy Mark. These all came out in the sort of mid to late sixties, only about five yeah. or six years after the originals, and they go for they go for ridiculously low sums of money. Uh, can People you put don't that know what's in them. 
Can you put them on my pile, please? I mean, those are fantastic. People do not know what's we, in them. We start finding some stuff on my pile, please. I'm getting, I'm getting them. Yeah, there you go. Sad, that's yeah. me too. That I'm gonna beat Mark to the punch on that one. That's me too. I think that's the last one I need. Well, can you, can you that, find some Rip Hunter Time Masters, please? <laughs> Those are great. Oh, that's the one where uh, Reed Richards and Doctor Doom switch. Yeah, places. and I've got that Freaky in the Friday. Shape, but the Baxter it, Building. So I'm good with that. I need, I need journey to Mr. Friday. Friday the Baxter much to finish my run. Right the Fantastic Four, the world's greatest comic magazine. I need Red Sonja ten and fifteen, please. Red Sonja. That is right. such a good run. That's oh freaking God. awesome. So, and this is this is the the stuff that I would like say is less important and less valuable in this collection. And yeah. it's right. still like wild, isn't it? Yeah, that that's uh, that, what what's special about them is the is the grade. Um, so you know those those all that uh, reprint stuff. In, you can pick up for five to ten dollars in low grade, but you can't find those high grades. No, it's hard. I sold uh, Marvel Two and One, Marvel Team Up One, and a bunch of other early seventies Mar Marvels last night. How, there you how, go. Good. Another yeah. sun fade. What the hell? Yeah, not bad. Or no, it's missing a color. It's not yeah, a sun fade. I don't think that's a fade, actually. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah missing it's missing one of the primary. It cards. It's not worth anything. There you go. There's the first one. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we actually have Doctor that. In the store. Right there. I've got that as well. We have that. I've got that. I need the other two. That, that, that's faded. That's faded. Yeah, that has faded along the. That is faded. That's three that's I can see that one. diamonds in there, but I can't I see the other two. It's weird, dude. I need the other two parts of that Doctor Who. <laughs> well, I think they're just about to come up, Gray. You ready to go nuts? So here, here's Alex working Yo. on comics. Uh, right. I have hey, this. Alex working on Meaning comics. That is comics. Yeah. What it issue number is that? Grade already, Darren. It is. Is fantastic. that issue two? I I oh, think yeah, I've my got pile, right? that one. I think this is in nine plus. I've got one of those. Yeah. Yours is in nine plus. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's oh my amazing. god. That's crazy. Yeah, put that one on my pile because oh, I need that. Now I have one, two, three. Hmm. That, is that number, number one? That's number one. one. My, yeah. my, my number one is not, is it eight five, I think. God damn yeah. it. That's before uh, they start would you please, I have stuff number and... one, but would you please put that on my pile because it's a 10D? That has writing on the cover. And it's I don't care. Be... It's a 10D. It, it's not terribly valuable because it's just monster reprints, but it's, one, it's a Pence one, variant, it's and I think that'll look cool. With my monster favorite. number one. I think that'd just look cool with it. Yeah, that's surprisingly not worth much of anything, but there's no superheroes in one and two. Right. It's not till three. <sighs> All the boxes are currently like this, which is all... They, they were fairly jumbled up, Mark, but they were sort of in runs. I'm yeah. telling you, that that's a pricey issue already. One, 20, and 42 are the pricey issues. The Union Jack. That one is going to go through the roof. But, yeah. Um, what's significant about 20? What's Union significant Jack. about Invaders 20? I don't know. Oh, what's that? Union Jack. What did it reprint? I don't know. Go back to the Invaders 20 and look at the back pages. The back page? Yeah, like the back three or four pages. The back three or four pages of the story. Oh, yeah. That's not Invaders. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what that is? It's the first, uh, first uh, appearance of Submariner. Submariner number one. It's the first that's appearance. That's not from right? Submariner number one. That's from Motion Pictures Funny Comics Weekly. Weekly. Yeah. Oh, right. Which I didn't know that, Kyle. Which issue is that in? Number Morning. one. That's the only issue. And, and it never got circulated. The only one. No, is which issue is that? That's Invaders 20. 20. That's Invaders oh, oh, 20. Sorry. Yeah. Number 20, yeah. 
I, I didn't say that, that was in there. He straight up kills people, doesn't he? Oh, he's, oh, yeah. he's, he's brutal. That's the first yeah, that's the first full reprint people. of motion pictures funny number one. Wow. And it's the last three panels are different from what they printed in Subby One. Right. Because it actually shows his birth and stuff like that that they took it out. That's the first uncensored reprinting of that since that's 1939. Good knowledge, Kyle. I did not know that. I did not know that either. But I, it's not the kind of thing I would know, but you might, Mark. <laughs> well, I've got a I've got yeah, about you saw these yesterday, Darren. No, we didn't. Not the well. On, who from? From me? Because I, I showed them yesterday on the what's in the oh, box. Oh, did you? Yeah, the oh, whole one hundred meters. <laughs> Pretty sure you were there. So we can't. This tell this, you this Invaders series okay. it's so easy to pick up cheap. Yes. Nobody collects it. No. And nobody knows about issue twenty. Even comic people don't even know about issue twenty. Well, the only the only yeah. small keys in it are uh, Union Jack and Baron Blood. And yeah. uh, the last issue is a giant size, which is harder to get in good shape. Issue one's good. And then, of course, giant size Invaders 1, which is actually the beginning of it. Is yeah. yeah, I haven't got giant yet. size. Or the yeah, annual that one. Didn't know about him. Frankenstein. But yeah, out of that in whole run. Unicorn. Out of that whole run, issue 20 is worth That's having good. because That's a good it's. One, yeah. That's the only way you're ever going to own Motion Pictures Funny Weekly, number one. Well, well there's, 20, having, there's 20 copies in there, all bought at art sale in 1972. Yep. Good knowledge, Because uh, they I never, they never got away from the publisher. I'm the one who one, said that. I'm the they one went to that. one movie house in New York. They went to one movie house in New York. There are no known surviving copies, and somebody found them which basically are considered the publisher copies and then covers for issue two. And they sold them in a garage sale, Mark. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And, and, and the, covers for, the covers, the covers for like two through eight exist. Reverse flash. Is Isn't that crazy? It's just nuts. How many issues in the invaders? 41. Uh, 42. 41. Oh, so near the end. Yeah, well, 41, if, if yeah. It is a run. which is a shame because it seemed like it might keep going for a while there. Oh. <laughs> and I repeat it over and over again, so Gray, you can't answer this, but what's the significance of annual number one? I don't know. Invading class. What, what's the significance of Invaders <laughs> annual number one? I don't know. You got any guesses, Mark? You've said you've told us this before, and I do have a copy. I can't remember what it it's is. It's Alex Schomburg's yeah, it's... last work. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't. Yeah. Did you know that, Alex? Yeah. yeah oh, it's Alex, Alex, it? Cover, Alex it? knew that. <laughs> Alex knew it because it's Alex information. Alex Schomburg. Yeah, there you Alex go. Alex. Schomburg's last work. And it is his cut. It's a cover, isn't it? It's, he does yeah. the cover. There you go. That's the it's key. The it's the last thing he great. did. Oh my gosh! It's the first annual. What's the blue <laughs> there. the blue bullet? I wish Have it was I redeemed one of those myself a little bit of knowledge out of perspective. Today? I'm in so much pain I'm crying, but have I redeemed my knowledge a little bit today with that? Yes, one? you get you get a prize you, for you, the, you, guess, uh, you get a gold star today, Kyle. The golem so strikes. I must have picked up the the end of the run and then yeah. picked up the start of the run and so they're, they're jumping. And I, yeah. I don't even own I, one anymore. Hey, but by the way, you know that's my one. You're not allowed to show that on cover. I just thought yeah. I'm gonna have that one for the next week. Yeah, that one looks ace. I'm that already one. using that one for slingers. No, it's no, already no. on my pile, mate. <laughs> I don't as, even as I own one anymore. And I'm not worried about it. If you're before but, gray, uh, use it first, mate. Uh, I think in, uh, in exactly Vegas, cool. 20 is a major key. What's What's the funny thing about 20? You know, we've seen 20 already. Yeah, yeah. 20, 20 was, was a reprint. Submariner and Kyle, who did the layouts for that cover? I don't even own a copy anymore, but anyway. I don't know. That's a great that's kind of girl you, you did the layout for that last <laughs> cover, <laughs> Kyle. Oh, is that the kind of girl for you one? Isn't it on the front of that last one? Yeah. Who did and the layout I, I for that? Yeah. 
<laughs> Looks like a Kirby layout. If I had to say who did no, it, was yeah. cover. It's it's a, cover, it's cover back up. And again, layout. Going, Kirby back finishes. Up. That has yeah. got everything going for it. Not right? that one. The one before it's got Nazis. It's got a woman yeah. in sort of. With a, oh, it's very with, bondage. Yeah, bondage yeah. gear yeah. with I a whip. I mean, that should be worth a lot of yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, well, and it's one of the last comics with swastikas on the cover for a very yeah. long time. Yeah, there's after the invaders. You, you, run, you now get banned on whatnot for putting swastikas on. Do you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. oh, that reminds me, Mark. I always forget to tell you because I can't say what I put. You know, when I keep coming up with getting uh, deleted words on whatnot. Yeah, they're so tame, like boobs or something like. <laughs> and sometimes yeah. they're not even a swear word. It's like you know the the, the world's gone mad. They are hypersensitive. Yeah. Well, well, yes. Can gun. I just ask a quick question about whatnot? If you're from Scunthorpe, can you use it? <laughs> Probably yeah, not. What? You you can't be from Scunthorpe. You you've got to be from <laughs> Scunthorpe. Yeah. You've got to change the name of where you come from because they probably wouldn't yeah. wear it. Yeah. Cockfosters. Uh, yeah. Do you do you mail to Blank Fosters? <laughs> do you mail to us for Star Wars? Yeah, oh. I've got about three full oh. sets of Howard the Duck because they don't. I, not I seem to have picked a few sets up of Howard the Duck somehow. Right, looks like we got a bit of a change. It's the whole. That's a nice old one. That's just no, a no, that's beautiful. I've it's never seen classic. that cover before. How did I miss that? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's a shame. I kind of need oh, that for my Hulk run, but I just, I'm not going to stack. That looks like a gray one. one. That does. Unless it's I come like out of my skin, one, yeah. I'm not even going to stack those. I'm going to be content getting 102. and oh, That's nice. The brute battles on. Not seen that before. <laughs> what the hell's that doing in there? That's a bit oh, fake. Fighting the owl on that one. I remember yeah. that comic. You know what? Yeah, I mean this. I think it. I think it is fade. Yeah, it could be mis. The, look how dark Spidey's suit is, though. Mm. That's not really red, but there's plenty of red here. Look. Yeah, yeah, it's strange, isn't it? And here. Yeah, I've had one. Yeah, it's odd. I think. I wonder whether it's a late print and they've run out of ink on some of the comic on some of these stuff. You're nice. right on the money with that, Mark. Right on the money. Sorry, I got to keep muting because there's too much commotion going on here. There's a comic in here. It has no. It has no reason to be in this collection. Uh, nice nice Wonder Woman. It's, one, it's the hunter. So bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? Uh, oh, that's there we awesome. go. Back to the invaders now. Invaders number three. Damn. Have you got the giant size or the annual in there, uh, Darren? I haven't got a clue. I did know when I did it and sent a list, but I, I have no memory of no memory of what's in here. Yet again, Graham, I've got the annual number one, and I'll let you have it with the next. It, in all likelihood, yes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let me say. Oh, I love that color. color. Uh, this is uh, Ed, Ed Hannigan with uh, Jack Kirby. It's brilliant. Oh. I mean, look at just about coming back. It's just, ah, the Portuguese ah, are coming. The Portuguese are coming. There you <laughs> go, Paolo. <laughs> That's Angle gorgeous. American Collective. Paolo, yeah. baby. Who loves So you, just look at this cover. You've got the Red Skull coming down the yeah. street with his face. Oh, I that mean, crazy, isn't it? I, yeah. I just love the, the perspective. Everything on this Plastic cover Kirby. tells you. This is, an this is an artist who understands exactly what well, he's doing and he's pushing the boundaries. That's oh, Ed yeah. Hannigan doing that, basically with Kirby doing it on top. Ed made his living doing those layouts yeah. for the covers. I got he, he did a comic on why he made money, you know, doing layouts. I'll show it one of these days. That he showed all these things in the layouts he did. They'd have him do no. the layouts and then have the bigger names draw them. That Baron Blood, good for doing it. They Is that Baron Blood in that one? It. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It might be yeah. his first appearance. Yeah, who's in the chat? They need to go first blood. appearance. Baron Blood. Yeah, is that first, Kyle? 
I not, thought eight I was his first, first appearance. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think he's first. Second. Seven seven or eight's his first appearance. Okay. Yeah. Did he is he in the same one as Union Jack? Is that his, is he in the one yeah, before? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like his first full appearance is the first appearance of Union Jack. Remember when Captain America beheaded right him? What a cover! What a cover! What a newspaper cover! What, so that Captain might America be wound up beheading that. Baron Blood with a shield. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Up, oh, can't show your beaver on TV, especially when you got sticky hands. Yeah, that's banned on what not that one. Wow. <laughs> uh, I think Beaver will probably get away with Beaver. Beaver, I've never heard it. I didn't get this up. Wait, I the... No, I don't. You were reading what, Gray? Uh, oh, oh it's the bag the lady. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. What's about the bag lady? That, that the character on the front is the bag lady. If He's I like can find the villain. energy to go back yes, upstairs, I'll yeah. grab that Hannigan book. Is that, uh, Kyle, is that the first kiss issue? Is yes. that 12? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the first kiss issue. Go to the back page. That's the first appearance of kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And that's a cameo that's Cohen. considered a first appearance. And the next issue is a full appearance. But it's worth half of what that is. Well, yeah, because that's so jarring. And there's Over the big the one. That's this. just all kiss all throughout. I mean, that Harry the Duck series is completely undervalued. I've picked up a couple of sets for about a, a pound a comic. There's Dr. Bong Dr. again. Bong. Dr. Bong. I'll tell you what, well, when you theory. switch when you switch over from showing, I'm gonna find the energy. I'm not taking the camera with me, but I'm gonna go get that Ed Hannigan book. I love that typewriter cover. Headline Doom. I love all these how the docs. Headline Doom. Steve These Gerber, are really right? nice. Do you remember the when I went to Wales to pick up a collection? I got yeah. another high grade collection from that it, guy. So. Yeah, I yeah. I've got about three full sets of Howard because I just can't resist it. Every time it comes up and they want about $30 for the full set, uh, 30 quid, I'll just buy it. Why was number one so sought after? Because well, it was a Red Sonja cover. Because they printed 200,000 copies and half of them didn't even make it off the docks. Oh, I didn't know. Half of them didn't even make it off the docks. Up, 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 up. Now we're speaking my language. <laughs> Was that 84? 88. That's my file. 88. 88. Yep, still my pile. I, I got the list right here handy. That's 91. I got 90. That. That's 90? 90. Oh, I don't have that anymore. Put that on my pile. Look at it. Let's can let's just finish this defenders around here. Ninety four, Mike Golden. What a cover! Definitely got all the six fingered hands. Well, that was quick. Well, yeah. So far, the other thing box for pulling out books I've never seen before in person. And the other thing, Mark, pulling is out that ones I need. Two other Mark people. Fu. Two other people looked at the comics as well. Yeah. They were lifting them out of the boxes and then putting them back in different order. Yeah. And also, the the auction house themselves did some pre-auction um, photographs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took a load out and put them back again in completely yeah, randomly. Yeah. So they just Mark come out Fu. in sometimes runs, sometimes not. All you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yet another um, series. Where I mean, you have artists like Jim Starlin, Gene Day. That Gene Day run on Master of Kung Fu. Not enough people he, know who Gene Day is. Gene and then Day he died. is a badass. He died because he was working so hard on it. Yeah, that dude, Gene Day is. I'm I'm gonna say it flat out. Gene Day is the most underrated comic artist that ever lived. Never heard of him. Wasn't Wasn't Gene Day a punk band? I no. don't know, but he did. That's he did. Day. Master oh, that's Green Day. Kung Sorry, Fu Green Day. Run. 
He did like half the master of Kung Fu run. There is not a bad Gene Day comic out there. Lady kills the blue. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't as great as Adams, but he was head and shoulders above like the Frank Springers and stuff and the basics of the Hannigan. But Gene Day was oh, a top guys, tier. How is the top number one? That's a good one. Nine pence coffee. Oh, and love, it, love it, love it. Love I kind of want I, them. I, had, I bought my first copy of that uh, when it first came out. Let's give let's give Scotty some more She Hulk time. Is that that one, Scotty? I like that cover. No, you said back to back. It's a top story, then. Ah, that's the one. The Michael Golden cover. That's Mike Golden. Yeah, you can tell that's Mike Golden from a mile away. Well, I'm nearsighted, so I can't, but I'll take your word for it, Kyle. Yeah, and the way, Kyle, I'm the struggling faces, as well. The We're faces at the of the Mike of my Golden comic are so distinctive. They're more distinctive, they're more distinctive than a Gene Colon nose. <laughs> the the Hey, Dad, you don't it, mean Gene Colon. Don't you mean Bill Kane nose? Any better Bill Kane nose, yeah. not Gene it. Colon. Gene Cole and Shadows or Gil Kane knows. Yeah. So there's probably 20 comics left in here, maybe slightly less. But in a moment, mm. it switches to what I call fatties. Some square bones. His D is broken. You haven't been playing with your D too much, have you, Scotty? Because I can't break it, I've been told. Yeah, don't, don't yeah. put your D on the keyboard, Scott. You've been pressing D too much for Dick. Every time I put my D on the keyboard, my hands get all sticky like I'm Darren. I can't get it. Sorry. You don't need to do it. This is a full set of Howard, isn't it? Apart from yeah, the it very, apart got, from yeah, the later it's on. A full set of Howard here, yeah. yeah. Howard, yeah, Howard if goes you, up. Howard goes if up you have like Howard the Duck 31 through 33. Yeah, we've already done the, the old ones, but there's like yeah. one or two printed well, about five years after. Yeah, I'm debating put a few Howards in my vintage show tomorrow. Yeah. Th Howard yeah. 33 mm -hmm. is like a ghost. I think it's 33 and 34. Are just Yeah, rare. they are rarer. I do have to pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one copy of each. I didn't know what the square bounds were, but the first one was pretty good. I mean, thir 34 came out like what eight years after the run started then they just well that's just not bad it's a reprint annual one but nice it is a good one Nick at all that that is a page for page reprint of annual number not perfect one. but it's not bad and did go was pissed when they did that oh put that on my pile i, I have a foreign edition it, huh? of that I I just like to have that. I have a four. I have a well. That's a foreign edition too. But I have like a Italian edition of that. Nice. I've got that. Not in as good condition as that though. These but, these are undervalued. It's all the annuals nice. are undervalued. Um, well, but it is Spidey, so it's still worth quite a lot. They they reprinted them. They they're most of them are reprints. Like yeah. one and two aren't reprints, and they reprinted right up to issue ten of the annuals. That's or good. three. One, really? two, and three aren't reprints. So oh, that's exactly. that's really valuable. Yeah, yeah. You took your big money here. Oh yeah. Uh, I sold Earth Fantastic Earth Four, T3, 4, and 5 yesterday, annuals. What was that last one? Fuck. Was that the Spidey annual, annual. Spider one? Oh, that one I want. I love that one. I have a that copy is of that, huge. but it's ripped. It is huge. A Spidey Annual 2. How much they is that? They did an uh, all detergent. What did the grade do you think that is, Darren? Remember that, Kyle? Right. So yeah. that cover. Yeah. Remember the slight the older these go, obviously the slightly worse grade. But look, that yeah. one's got this kind of shit at the, at the bottom look where it's lost the bottom of the spine. Oh, so God. what grade what, do you think it is? Well, it's so oh. difficult when you've got a major fault like that and everything else is nice. So if it a, a wasn't four, for that, a three maybe. Three between three and it, four. If it wasn't for that, I'd put it into a fine. With that, it's gonna have to be a very good. It's, it's it does three, not yeah. below very good. 
but that's very true. good probably. Okay, but still $100. Hey, obviously, $100. Would, that's I like mean, if, if hey, hold on, on that one. Were, if that that's was a like, seven five. It would be four hundred dollars. Yeah, that's like Ditko's last Spider Man right there. So did it go really? with issue thirty eight? I own it, but it's mine's well, flawed. What is what like is more that. significant about that issue? And it has nothing to do with Spider Man. Don't know. That is the first full Doctor Strange story. Yeah, the wondrous world of Doctor Strange. Yeah, that's um, the first. Um, one. Every Doctor Strange story before that were the like eight pagers or six pagers that were in the back of Strange. Where's annual table. one, Don? We, we we got down to annual two. Remember that the, the auction one. house yeah. took out some expensive ones, about thirty oh, expensive yeah. ones, and sold them individually. Yeah, possibly yeah. it was one of those. It yeah. was. Oh, oh, immediate feel has to be. Oh, oh yeah. Jewelers. Ah, nice. Nice. Yeah, Indeed like I said, too. if I had to bet, I'd say that that guy, that guy lived right next to Rendell Shimbay. We've gone back to Fantasy right. House. That's again. a He's reprint. Of what is significant up, about that all winners right there? You see, my OCD wants you to immediately put all the Fantasy House. Oh, 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 it's a... Uh, First uh, Silver Age appearance of um, Wizard and uh, Miss America. Well, but it's a reprint. But what is that original book? What is that original All Winter significant for? I don't know. That was the first Marvel character team up book. Oh, that's right. They based the invaders on the All Winners. All Winners 19, 20, and 21 were the first Marvel team book. Oh, look at the damage over Cap's face. That breaks. Do you know what that is? Oh no! I'll tell you what. I'll tell you exactly what that is. That is the t the back cover of the one yeah. that was on top. So I can see the outline of a stain here. So that's yeah. all. This this cover has got all the pieces to it, but th this has got additional paper on it from the one that would have been above it. I just you, could, it off. you could wash that yeah. off then. You could probably put some water on that and get that off. That that's yeah. Yeah, I think you probably could. I mean, you can see you can. can I. You I see I actually that? did that the other day with a comic that I had. A comic that I picked up from the mar had the, the back of a front of the comic in front of it stuck to it, and I took the cover off, wet it, and got most of it off. I didn't bother doing it. But yeah, it issue fun. eight, nine, and ten of Fantasy Masterpieces reprints the first uh, Subby Torch battle. Classic Spidey. Nearly there. Uh, These the the first uh, appearance uh, of the Scorpion. Yeah. Mark, what issue yeah. number is that? Well, they are, and they don't really get a huge price attached to them. No, yeah. they don't. No, and again, um, although I'll tell you what, I've been quite astonished. Be um, Marvel Tales sells, and I would I would never have guessed, but it does. No. Okay. And those are literally dime a dozen here. They put like five on them. There's issue number one right there, 1965. Or is that issue two? Ooh, I'm blurring. That's one. That's issue one. Yeah, that's one, 1965. My eyes are going blurry. That's issue two. Yeah, that. please put that on my pile. I, that's, oh, no, that doesn't even have the Hulk story in it, does it? I don't even If it doesn't have the Hulk story in it, I don't even care because it's piecemealed. And Solomon Kane. All right. I think this is probably now just a couple of random ones I picked up to fill the box. Yeah. I need a few, few premieres for my collection. I've got that one. Monarch Starstalker. Wood, wood God. God. Those are horrible. I am the Wood if God. You know, if you notice the front of that cover, Darren, if you notice the front of that cover, there's three oh. people shooting at Wood God. There's not a single one hitting him. Have you not got this one? I have, but I haven't chosen it for, for, for my covers if you want to use it. I'm going to go for, I'll go for that. Good tip. Thank you. I've not been looking at uh, what's coming up, what's on, the, what's on the covers. I'm just sort of making sure that it, it's not blurred. Liberty Legion. Oh, what's that, Deb? What number's that? This one. 47, yeah. isn't it? 30. This is 30. number 30. Or 30. 
No, it's uh, Marvel, Marvel Premiere. Marvel, Marvel Pile, Premier. please. 30. You won that one? Yes, please. Great Pile. That, that one can go on. That Great mean, Pile. I don't know where your file is, who I think it is, anyway. Oh, do you know what? Yeah, you inspire so much confidence. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, no, it's okay. What's up? Oh, that's like a, such a reprint, look. Check it out. Wow. This is, I've never seen this before. It's got a DC cover on the back. Wait, what? No. What the hell? No. You're joking. No, no, you're joking. No. You're joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Polish boy. <laughs> that would have been an interesting mystery. I fell for it for like two seconds. <laughs> no, I, I, you I can tell what he's. That's a Kirby cover. Is that 29? Yeah, that's 29. 29. Uh -huh. I've got 29. That's oh, a big one. Yeah. That's a big, that's a First big appearance of the Legion of Monsters. No, it isn't. In, in the magazine, the magazine's the first appearance of the Legion of Monsters, but that one's more valuable. Let me, let me go get it. We've got, it. We've got it. We've got it. Go the got magazine, it. The magazine he showed yesterday is technically the first appearance of the Legion of Monsters, but that comic is worth four times as much. Which yeah, doesn't make any sense. I've got a, I might oh, give me that whole the comics. First appearance in comics, Kyle. That's why. Yeah. yeah. But I've the magazine well. is so much better. The black and white magazine uh -huh. is so much better. Well, not according that to that. That leads to the I got given that one. Unfortunately, my one's the, the whole cover just torn across. Like it's, it's barely hanging on. Man, so, yeah. Cool. Anyway. Marvel preview issue two. No, hey, who gave them, go. who gave them is... the permission to use my body image for their comic <laughs> A spang out of all of that is. My oh, nickname and oh, body what, image. What? What? Number 10. Wait, oh, there you go. The... That's number 10. Okay. Quick okay. off to uh, Legion, to Legion of, Monsters. of Monsters. Is that Yeah, that one's much Legion, better, though. but it has different people in it. Man, it's got the man of Fibion. It's a different... How much is that, Bill? Oh, you've got it as well. Uh, we we have it at ninety nine. Mine's ninety eight. Oh, Whoa! Oh, you're <laughs> pounds. Your pounds. You really yeah. like Ghost, 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 Rider, Ghost Rider pops Ooh. up in the comic one, but that one is so much better. Yeah, and so does Morbius. These few mags, I just grabbed those out of the box from the guy in okay. Wales. Hey, if you we'll come up with now. Savage Tales one, fuck it, I want it. But I don't think you're going to come up with oh, that. Oh, God damn it. I've got a wonky again. Uh, it's not focusing. Focusing there, isn't it? No. Yeah, it's focusing yeah. there. Yeah, it is, but kind of. Sure, yeah. I'm going to pull away. Yeah, make me ha Oh, that is so good. Howard the Duck number one there. Those are those that's magazines that's of Howard fast. the Duck are so They were so good. good. They were really good. They were really Me too. Good. Oh, Val Merrick just owned those. Play Duck. Play Duck. Yeah. There you go. Val Merrick at his peak right there. Ah, oh, what the dog. Just so good. This was the guy in Wales, these mags. Yeah. And I've never seen the mags for how yeah, the I got all That's a mags. horrible cover. Yeah. That's this really is my, bad. That's a joke cover. cover. It's kind of a joke cover. Oh, that's actually uh, kind of valuable though. Ten, one and ten are the most valuable ones. That's weird. Yeah, it's still not worth these much. Are, these are nice grade. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's Ted. It's Ted. It is Ted. Ted. Have you have you seen both versions now, Mark? Have you seen the color version as well of uh, Werewolf by Night? No, I've seen the black and white Ooh. one. Hey, man. hey, Mark, do the you color have was this? pretty good, but the black and white's still better. Do you have yeah. this, Mark? This is, the... this is Corbin. This is Corbin doing Epic. That's oh, issue no, two. I haven't got that. Uh, That's Epic title, number please. two. Epic, like one through six, are like all Corbin. Yeah, are they I'm all Corbin? It. Yeah, look, well, Corbin main story. I mean, a lot of people worked on him, but yeah, yeah, that's oh, uh, yeah, my pile. Before anybody else calls for it, that's epic. Is that number one? Did you want this one, Mark? Which one? Number one of Epic Illustrated. Yes. Oh, uh, Carl, Carl's beating you to it. God damn it! I know, but who will pay you'll you? Be okay. oh, You'll be okay. Oh. Mark, get, Mark gets the nicer copy. I'll take the beater. 
They're both 9.8. Yeah, Mark gets the nicer copy. I'll take the beater. Yeah, love it. They are both nice. There is a slight difference. Undervalued again. Ridiculously undervalued. Grossly undervalued. Grossly undervalued. The only ones of real shape. value are the last Galactus story. Street machine. I don't even know what the shit this is. Somebody has bought a random com car comic and shoved it in the car. Is that what I think that is? Is that a Ford Prefect on the cover? Am no, I nuts? Is that's that a, a Ford Prefect that's a on the cover? from Hitchhiker's Guide to the yeah. Galaxy, dude. Is that, I'm serious, is that a Ford, Ford Prefect? Prefect? Is it right? Can you afford the Yankee? Kyle, that's the real the question. Ford Prefect is one of the most boring cars ever. That is not a Ford Prefect. <laughs> well, it, got, they just look like they don't have a Prefect. We've got two Yanks on this panel. Can we afford I'll tell it? You, I'll tell you why this is in there. Because this guy, remember, this has never, this stuff is, his comics were not bagged, they were not boarded, his mags were not bagged, they were, the odd one maybe got a bag on. But he stacked them probably about 20 high, and then he would put something like this in, and then another 20 and something like this in to protect them. And he would also turn the turn them around so the spines oh, didn't so he knew what he was more. doing. He knew what he was doing then. Yeah, he really, yeah, really looked after them carefully. That's crazy. And uh, probably worked at a phone shop. Oh wow! Oh, that's that's a big one this. too. That's a big one too. Is that the first? Is that thirty p? That's that's a reprint. That was though. a thirty p. Yeah. Yeah, that's a reprint. Tomb of Dracula. Tomb of Dracula. That, um, this is is this a Curtis or not? No, that yeah, it's got a dollar price on. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> We're getting down there. Ah, uh, you're going to be this time for once. I'll tell you the truth. You're going to be disappointed. There's no. not a one. <laughs> I'm just. I'm really on the fence about a one anyway. Because I so think he collected sure. it for Kazar, and I'm not sure whether Kazar's in number one, is he? I think he might be as a backup, but he's not on the. Well, planet. and now you got 20p on there, so either the stickers on there, or those are the British reprints. No, the sticker is over the cent price okay so this this is just a sticker thing well, in the if UK. you had a one with the sticker on it i might be able to actually want that stacked but that's you it don't, i'm so. out that's all i've got upstairs at the moment how you I've got a few i've got still... a few golden age things if you want to see them well shit, i need to go upstairs but if you're pulling out golden age i ain't going nowhere <laughs> uh golden age and pulps uh Oh, so I've seen these. I picked up. All right, I'll be back. Dan, I've uh, seen these. He's one of the best uh, sort of vintage guys in the UK. So uh, I have got a Weird Tales. Weird uh, Tales. 1946, this one. Nice. Wow. Uh, Weird Tales, this one is from 1945. So those Sweet. would probably be rife with... Uh, Virgil Finley illustrations. Yeah. Mark, I'd love to get like an old, what, I want to get a pulp with an HP Lovecraft cover. What did you weird, that? weird Tales. This is this is the most valuable one because this is an Edgar uh, Marky de Sard cover. Um, by Robert Block. By Robert Block. Yeah. Who wrote Psycho. So this is 1945 again. What kind of value would you put on these, Mark? Um, so this one, um, I paid seventeen pounds for this, but I think it's probably worth about sixty. Wow! Yeah. Um, this is extremely rare. This is probably rarer, but it's not worth as much. Um, this is a very rare L. Miller and Son reprint and high grade. This is probably in a. a a seven five eight zero, oh, and it's an L. Miller and Son reprint of a four six comics soldier comics issue four from nineteen fifty two, uh, and it's got the Korean War. So Taiwan Taiwan is a Korean War thing. Uh, so this is really rare. This is a UK, and you probably never see one of these again. I uh, I randomly was looking for a value on a Marvel Captain Marvel comic. An American one, and I typed yeah. it into Silveracre's website, Captain Marvel, 
And what what popped up on the site was he has added a load of Captain Marvel adventures or Captain yeah, Marvel yeah, the UK ones. Yeah, the Alpha Snap. Seen the prices that he's listed them at. Yeah. Oh no, they go for loads. They go oh, for Mark, loads. I've got such a horror story to tell you is that I got a batch of them probably that thick. Yeah. In a collection I bought. I yeah. Don't know, 10 years ago yeah, what did and you i just do went them? on facebook and said i don't know what this give me a fiver for it and someone bought them oh flipping heck yeah flipping heck i've still got photos i think uh, they, sell, they sell for 10 to 20 quid each at minimum wow uh spot what a self control there mark <laughs> yeah what? Spock. I'm I've actually got a few of those in my pile. I think it's this from 1949. It's Captain Marvel Nancy. I think you have them for me. I don't know whether Mark saw them when I pulled it up. I, I didn't Carry on, Mark. Uh and again another this is comics on parade number 53. And again, we have Ernie Bushmiller Nancy from 1946. Wow. Oh, we found. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, these are the ones I was looking for. I think we found oh, them. Oh, wow. they're, in, they're in somebody's pile. A Kyle pile, My probably. Pile, isn't it? Or maybe, or maybe you wanted them, Do you remember? Do you remember when I was doing your yeah. pile? That pile there. Maybe a yeah. Kyle pile. So I don't. I think you might have got some in there as well. Sorry for that. Back to Mark. Back to Mark. Well, I don't know who it is, Kyle or Gray, but both of them and neither of them are going to pay you about five hundred quid for those, which is what they were. Oh, worth. perhaps, perhaps there are two things I want to show Mark quick then, just in case. <laughs> I will eventually. He's a he, piecemeal. Oh, not no, no, nice go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 nice. Yeah, that, real uh, battered. And those I are know, my got, pile, right? A couple of that. That's probably worth 20 quid. You can put it in my stack. It's in bills. No, it's, in bills. it's in my stack already. I wanted oh. them to show you these. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Bill, have you we got sold that? our copy here. And I, I, was, so I, not, I don't think I was on when that came. But that's you were. Rare. I promise you, you weren't. I don't think you were, Mark. There was a whole bunch when you were traveling. Yeah, oh, then you were that's, that's when the you were only working. reason I got lucky this time. All right, can you not do this again? When those things are on, don't let Bill get them. Hey, I, didn't even, hey, I didn't even know you to talk that's to not you then. Cool. Cool. Uh, here we go. Air Fighters, air um, fighters. starring Airboy. Airboy. Uh, those this are is great. from uh, 1944. Right. Gotta go get uh, the war's still on. This is really interesting. So it says you can't turn a white man into a Jap with just mud, but you can turn a white man like Airboy into a Jap's plans to mud. Oh, that's so racist. That's so <laughs> racist. Well, it was, but it was propaganda, mate. Well, yeah. Well, of course, of course. Uh, well, this is from uh, Charles Biro, Boy Illustrated, fifty-seven from nineteen fifty. And for the same guy, Charles Biro, crime does not pay from 1948. Uh, this was a seduction of the innocent comic. So this is one of the comics that was named in the seduction of the innocent by Charles Werther. So this is worth more because it was named in the uh, seduction of the innocent well, it's one of the seduction here, here's, of the some, here's something funny the editor went on a bender with a girl uh, on cocaine and an editor of that very comic and he wound up killing her and he said by accident and then he served a jail sentence for it and then he got out and apparently he pissed someone off while in jail and he uh, he was beheaded and thrown out the side of a car. Really? Yeah. The editor, and, not Charles Byro, the editor. No, 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 but one of his main editors. Yeah. Wow. And so crime doesn't pay. Crime does so, not pay. So crime does not pay. <laughs> that, I've that got some story, story, uh, I have to credit Craig Yeo with that. Same, same, it's a Charles Byro again. Yeah, yeah, same guy, by the way. Strangely enough, same the, publisher, the publisher is called Len Gleason. Was it Len Gleason who was the uh, guy who was? Uh, no, 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 no. It was a before. younger guy. Uh, Gleason was uh, Gleason was in comics since like the twenties. He was an older guy by that time. Lawbreakers always lose. <laughs> 
And here we've got people tunneling out of a prison. Um, here, now, this is interesting. This is uh, our gang, number 19, from 1945, in quite high grade. Now, oh, what's yeah, special about this, it. Kyle? You said you were doing pulps. Why are you pulling out comics like Because you've been away for about 15 minutes, and we I've done them while you were away, mate. Yeah, we have to keep going, man. We have to keep going. We it's can't do it off a new It's a show. show. I it's want that. The sad thing living. is you couldn't get 100 bucks out of that, and to me, that's a $1,000 book. Right. Why is this book. special, Kyle? Well, what particular issue our gang is it? Well, it's um, Iron Gang number nineteen. But it, what? 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 Who? who nineteen. Appears, that was too early for the Kelly. peanuts. Who, it? Appear, who appears in our gang? Earlier oh, our, on? It was Gale. too early for the peanuts, isn't it? No, it's not peanuts. Is it Daredevil? Gary no, it's Tom and Jerry. Tom what? and Jerry. Okay. So, so that's the first Tom and Jerry, and right? And we have Tom and Jerry on the cover. From 1940, those are the first two appearances, right? Yeah, yeah, Tom and Jerry, yeah, and oh my gosh, that's come um, that's amazing. Yeah, our gang is where our peanuts gang. popped up a little bit there, too, but it was much later. I should have used this. Well, where the hell did you get all these? these? This is fantastic. Beautiful. This is, That's I, I 1936, up, isn't it? 36, yeah, 37? Yeah, really early. Oh, no. Tarzan. I picked this up for 10 quid at the London Comic Mart. Shut up. No. That's intact? Yeah. You realize that's like one of the first 100 regular-sized comic books, right? Yeah, yeah. 10 wow. quid at the London Comic Mart. It sat on, the, it sat on this guy's stall all day. And I kept looking at it. Uh, he wanted, I think, no, it was 15 quid. He wanted 15 quid for it. And it sat there all day. Nobody took it. And I went at the end of the day when somebody paid me 30 quid, I bought this one and the next one for 15 quid each. Hey, Mark, 10 I quid will each. triple your value. You can trade me that and I'll give you 30 quid. <laughs> I'm trade. not trading it, mate. It is completely no. rare. There's probably You're about keeping two or three it. copies of that anyway. You need to keep it. You yeah. Need to keep it. Yeah, uh, anything and, anything pre thirty eight is pretty impressive. That is too. That was the other one. Same That's time, he had yeah, both of these on the wall at fifteen quid each, and I went and bought both of them for thirty quid. Holy moly! I'm uh, gonna throw right. up. What else did you show while I wasn't looking? You asked me. Well, you should have been. You shouldn't shouldn't wander off, mate. Well, yeah, I this told is, you this I was waiting for you to tell me who the saw. artist is here. That'll learn him. Um, I wandered off to share. It's Mark. Not it's not Ogden Whitney. It's You're not allowed to leave. It's Mark, not Matt Baker. Matt Baker isn't it? Ogden Whitney. Uh, Kyle is close, but not right. Ogden, Ogden Whitney. It's not a Baker cover. Baker's inside of it, isn't he? It's Bob Powell. Bob oh, Bob Powell. Powell. I knew that wasn't a Baker cover, but I figured that'd Looks be like Baker on the inside. I swear. Well, God damn it! Now I got to rewind and go nuts over you pulling out Golden Age comic books because you said pulps. <laughs> and well, I'm moving slow pulps, today. So yeah. this is uh, again. This is Bob Powell art. Look at this. It's just, these are just fantastic. Oh, I love fantastic. these. I have dropped down the romance rabbit hole. I'm afraid. Uh, so this is now Harvey. I this let go of all my Matt Bakers. This is a Harvey from 1952. If I had wow. let go all my Matt Bakers already, I'd forward them on to you. But Scott Harris King got all my Matt Bakers. Look at this one. Absolute beauty. I just just look at these um, girls love. Well, that that might be uh interpreted this, differently today. <laughs> yeah, this isn't 1953. These are twin girls. And one of the twins has stolen the boy, and the other twin is not happy. Um, I'll show her. I'll shiver in her sleep. So Sorry. how many comics did I actually miss? Just a few? Yeah, a few. Uh, uh, all loved. All right. Yeah, and you can't give those away. No, nobody wants them. You, you can't give those. You've got to find the market for those. 
or you I, I don't want to sell them. I don't want to sell them. I'm a buyer of those. Can I just say right now, if you talk to Scott me. Harris, can't, you can't give those away. No. Yes, you can. I'll take any <laughs> comics that people want to give me. So I don't care about other people. But... It's Henry. It's it probably any... in a. It's probably in fine. Fine yeah. grade from 1950. I bought yeah. it for a fiver. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You get a fiver for that. And it's that's insane. It should be worth so well, much more. I'm not selling it. <laughs> And uh, Happy Comics number 12 from 1946. Bloody Animal Post War. Hey, look, this random customer came in and he's from England. Hello. Hey, English man. Isn't that crazy? Hi, I, Hello, you English know, man. I told them most of the guys on this show are British. So. Hi there, mate. Hey. Hi there, you yeah. all right? Yeah, where are you from? Uh, near Preston in Lancashire. Nice. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing in Indian? What are you doing in Texas? Uh, well, we did a bit of a tour, so we did the eclipse yesterday. Oh, um, nice! I'm going up to the NASCAR race at Fort Worth for, for next weekend. And oh, down, that's great! Been down to the beach for for a week. Perfect. Uh, oh. I always, always try and hit a comic book shop. And I found found this place on Facebook this morning. I sent my message. They never oh, hey. message. But hey, well, no. I, well, I, I, you know what? I, I, I am. Re I'm not responsible for that, but I am responsible for that. So, uh, well, uh, they've got some great stuff there, mate. So, yeah, don't yeah. Pick Bill's been drinking purple hazel already. all day, so he, you know, he's not always good at getting back to people. Do you he's been drinking purple haze. Haze. Come he's on, been, guys. He's drinking purple haze and slagging off comic greats all day, ain't you, uh, Bill? Hey, <laughs> fellas, <laughs> great you start, but fellas, introduce yourself where you're from and who, what you're tell about your comic companies, you two downside. But great, well, tell that yourself, do you Greg. sometimes buy online in the UK? I I buy online. He's splat comics. Splat comics. You buy from him splat comics. Do you sell them on eBay? No, I don't. Um, I have the website, and that's it. eBay okay. follow. All right, I'll look out for that. Out nice for one. Fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. By the way, yeah. And really Mark, good. you are. Uh, yeah. So I'm Southern so Comics. Know. I sell uh, again. I sell on whatnot, and I sell uh, on my own website, Southern Comics. But, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. But, uh, I'm going to let him shop now, but I wanted you guys to know that we even get. Yeah, go and, go and sell him something, Bill, but don't sell him anything yeah. good that we want. Oh, well, look. No, what, no, what? no. Come on. Well, come on. Why do you have to the car outside so I can't stay too long? Yeah. You should at least know. You should at least know that this is the Geeky, Weeky, Geeky Weekly show on YouTube. We've okay. got tons oh, of episodes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks for making an appearance. I just want to <laughs> <laughs> there you that was go. <laughs> Mark, did you run out of Mark. items? Mark, yeah. what, what did you show that I missed comic-wise? You. You, you have well, to look to the re Watch the rewind, mate. You can't be blicking going right. backwards. I showed show some pulps. All sitting on pulp, waiting around for you. I to saw the pulps. Just Are you to be ready. The pulp? What I saw you, you show the pulps already. It's just the comic books that you got at the mart. Uh, I, that's why I said I don't think I missed many because I knew the pulps you had to go. Soldier? Nice. <laughs> that's got an L. Miller triangle on it, doesn't it? It has. Did you see um, Sparkler? That's that's the one. That spark, what issue of Sparkler is that? That is issue um, 87. Bernie Mush, Burley Mushmiller, Ernie Bushmiller, yeah. Nancy, uh, I reckon it's a four point five. I paid five quid for it. I had I had an original printing plate to issue nineteen of that from nineteen. Oh wow! Okay, that's special. but Johnny's got that now, and you know what he got it for? What? That Bible treasury. Oh, okay. Nice. So a sparkler nineteen got me that Bible treasury. See. And you can't give those away, and those are priceless. That's that's one of the first comic books ever published. Comics on Parade are one of the first three comics <laughs> ever published. 
<laughs> Poor Gray, he's like, yes, you can give it away. Give it to me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. There is yeah, yeah, significance I, I, to that yeah, series. Um, I, actually, Kyle, I can always give comics away. Yeah, but I mean, um, what I'm uh, saying is you, you probably got all those for a tenner or less. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. And mm. and it's it's insane how, because how can you have a comic you can't give away and it's prices at the same time that makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> those should all be in my book. Those should all be hundred dollar books all day. In long. this case, it simply means that there's Tarzan no should be a thousand dollar book, and the other one should you be a hundred dollar book. Yeah, I mean those are the, those are just never going to sell. You know, my kids will end up with these and go, "What the hell is he doing with those?" You know, yeah. Um, and yet those to me those are historical significance. I mean shit you got a pre Superman Tarzan. They're just they did they're ghost. There there's no Yeah, no left. those tip tops are extremely rare. There's just Mr. none left and there and again like Tip Top was like the fifth comic ever a modern comic ever printed. You know, it was like you got comics on parade Tip Top um Oh, what's he got there? Oh, you butt monkey. That's an Australian, though. It's an Australian Mr. whiz. Brought these back from Australia. Well, no, it's the Frank, was that the Frank Dobson collection? Frank Dobson collection. Yeah. The Owser. Cast in Marvel, look. They're almost as big as me. Yeah. Not many. Are you ready for a little bit more? Bill's going to cry. He missed these. Uh, thank, you quite wow. thank you, Wow. Thank you, QNS. And those are all wartime, right? I mean, they're, they're 1950s. Those didn't even come with dates on them, right? These are four. Those are amazing. That, that, I, reckon you, you, I reckon there'll be less than 10 issues of those anywhere in the world. Yeah. I've researched these somewhat. This is a, called Wow, number eight. Yeah. Are you ready, Mark? I mean, they printed those in like 1951. Wow, 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 wow to wow. See, that's an earlier issue, but it was printed later. It's got Mary Marvel on it. I can tell you right now that's an earlier issue, but it was printed later. And I just happened to have bags and boards this size, so they came to me raw. Where the hell did they get bags and boards that size? Yeah. Number three. Yeah, okay. We're talking really rare stuff here. Uh, I don't know. That's why I said I'm out of my depth and I would appreciate your advice. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling I mean, you, those, these the, are those Australian. lower numbers I mean, are actually later printings. They didn't go to color until the mid 50s. I've, I've, never, I've never seen these before. I know a lot about Australian comics because I've been doing some research. I found a website that issue that cover scans this kind of stuff in australia so i've i've I, there's a lot of there's a lot more in australia than you would co possibly imagine it's wow absolutely yeah. amazing this is number one. Oh, come on camera behave yourself oh it doesn't uh, like that does it i i think mr dobson knew ah, there we was, go. i think mr dobson knew what he was doing well, he uh, knew the people that had a hand in reprinting these. I can one. tell you that. There's now, no way he didn't know the people that did that. Let me show you and, what yeah, else Henley Mr. Henley Comic did. reprints there. Uh, that was the one that we saw in uh, Bill's yeah. pile, right? Yeah. yeah. Are you angry that Bill's got it and yes. you don't? Yes. Oh, I'll have the other one then. Bill that said, one. give me the shitty copy. Yeah, right. I'll have the good copy. Well, you've got a choice of two. <laughs> For the heck. I'll have yeah. the one on the I'll have the one you're holding against. I'll pick the, you the nice one. I'll pick you the nice one. Yeah, pick me the yeah. nice one. Oh, it's that one. It's that one without any doubt. Yeah. 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 The yeah. yeah. color yeah. printing they started in the mid fifties. I went down that rabbit hole. You know what, Mark? I'm gonna put them both in your pile and you can choose yourself when you come okay. here. Right. But that's not the highlight. Let me put this back in Bill's part. So you remember Bill had like one of those sort of landscapey type things? Yeah. He said, give me the shitty one. You missed this. This is when you was working. Oh, yes, please. I've never seen these. The, obviously, these have a price. Holy moly. 
And I'm delighted to. I'm delighted if if you were the I, one. I don't, need, I don't know how you're even going to price that. I've never seen one of those before. I've never seen anybody sell one. I've never seen. Uh, and again, yes, please. I mean, we'll just have to have a discussion. Uh, have you any idea what those are worth? Vaguely. Okay. All right. Yeah. Magnificent. Are these uh, L. Miller and Son? Fawcett. Yeah, no, no, they're L. Miller and Son reprints. Oh, I see what you mean. The Fawcett thing's on the top. Would I did know the answer Miller. to that question. Yeah, Fawcett is the original no, publisher. No. It's Larry and Cleland. You're the first person. Never heard of them. Uh, it's, it's, it is sort of copyright forcey, but Larry, Larry Cleland or something. I'm pretty sure that they're in the nine, they're either late 1940s or early 1950s. Yeah, uh, yeah. Again, all of these. I mean, we need to talk price, but I love them. Yeah, I've never seen these before. How much do you think these are worth? Hard, really hard to say. Um, it is, yeah. When when Australians talk about it, but are these Australian or are these Australian or English? They're these Australian. Australian. Oh, okay, Australian. all right, okay. That's why I've never seen them. Yeah, these, and they talk they're... about anywhere from say, I don't know, thirty to a hundred ish Australian yeah. dollars, which is not the same as British dollars. No. Yeah, and we're not in Australia; we're in Britain. Yeah, so there's. Not all of us. But at the end of the day, Mark, I'm happy with fair. Okay, I'm happy with fair. Yeah. Fair yeah. price. Yeah. yeah. I, if I could sell them to you, I would yeah. sell them to you cheaper than I would sell them to anybody else in yeah. the world because yeah. of the show and so on and your pile and everything like that. Yeah. And I would be over the moon if one person took all of them. Right. So if well, you yeah. want all my pile, put them all on my pile and we'll talk a price. I mean, they're amazing. Yeah. They. Unless you're like a Captain Marvel fan, Australians just have disdain for those. Inside, they look like that. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, though, the thing is, though, Darren, he wants them all, but you got to bag and board them. <laughs> I'll bag and board them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm only buying the bag and board them. Now I want Captain Marvel. I don't know where you get a bag and board for that. Where would you even get a bag and board for those? You wouldn't. Ones? You wouldn't. You yeah, you would. You would. I use, use, I use, use British. I use <laughs> British ones. They're they're long ways like that, but there's like those bigger ones are a little How tougher. Many of these are the... They're like a British magazine stood on end. Fine variance authority. <laughs> so, like if you take a British bag and just turn it like that, I, know, I bet they're longer. They don't look. They look a bit bigger than that to me. They but you might be right. Just, longer, right? They're right at the limit of it. They're right at the limit mm -hmm. of it. Or no, these bags I've got from getting Britain. Mass, masses of bags and boards. I've got I've got uh, bags and boards of various sizes, but um, I didn't go crazy. Them, but, for example, I mean, that, that wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it might go in a magazine bag. You're right, Kyle, but it's um, going to be a yeah. Pill. Just they you, fit long, I, that's the way I've got some of them. Check that. I've got that some like that. Yeah, I've got yeah. some from the publishers. Look at the snow on the logo. Yeah, if yeah. you're willing to pay the shipping, you can get those nickel and dime from Australia. Really? But the shipping will cost you triple what you pay for the book. No, you like you, if you pay twenty five for the book. The shipping will cost you thirty or forty, and if you pay ten for the book, it'll still cost you twenty or thirty. Uh, I've got that one in the UK version. Yeah, it's just the shipping is so as bad as it is to the UK. The shipping from Australia. Yeah, beautiful. Well, you can, you can let's have a discussion. I I have had customers in Australia when I have my sale on saying your sale makes it worth paying the shipping and i've sent stuff to australia and they've been delighted to get it so cheap all in really? you know, with, the, with the shipping yeah that has really flipped the script because like 10 years ago they were just trying to push that shit out 
The only place I, I could have got so much of that stuff before, and now that guy's probably in like Flynn. The only place like, that is ridiculously expensive to send to, in my opinion, is the USA and Canada. Yeah. Um, no, but like I, I got some old, I got family. some old, uh, Small I keep wanting to say Hudson Hawk, but I got some proper wartime books from there from a guy. I had Mark. it in for a little bit with him to get some stuff. But Mark, did you want these ones too? No. Uh, I don't, I don't, they're too big. I, I don't know what to do with them. And those are the cherries right there. Yeah, those are the cherries. Aaron, have you got bags right. and folds for your 2000 ADs? Are you planning to get them before you sell them on in your shop? No, because I have got 200 2000 AD boards and somewhere 200 bags, but they're reserved for the ones I'll be selling on the website once I've done the bagging and boarding of the first 100 issues, the pricey issues. Everything after number 100, other than if it's like a key, like a first nemesis or a first road troop or something, it's just not worth it. The bag and the board is more expensive than the comic itself. Mm. So, yeah, true. You know, it's so hard to get hold of. I'm trying to get hold of the bags and boards for the old ones, and I can't get hold of the boards. I can't find I them anywhere. Well, great. I mean, I can, I can, shops. if you really want them, I can find a person who will supply you with them. No problem. But they're expensive mm. compared to what you're bagging and boarding. Yeah, Gray won't want to pay for that. Hey, Darren. They're pain in the ass, isn't they? I wanted to get my all my 2000 these bags and boarded in the boxes this year, but I don't know if I'm going to... Don't do it. Don't, listen, on, I promise you, I promise you, if there's damage caused to your 2000 AD, you're cheaper off going out and buying a new set of 2000 AD than you are buying yeah. bags and boards. Hey, Darren, <laughs> like for my one and two... You can put them front to back with a bag and board if they fit. You know, you can put like one in the front, two in the back. So it's just one bag and board for the two issues. Uh, yours are worth it, Kyle. Yours are two hundred pound each. Those yeah, two. I know. So they're worth they're worth the ten. And feet. the nemesis. <laughs> but, all right. Well, Bill's not back, but go ahead and give me the big screen. I'm gonna do my spiel since I took my stuff out. So. I just grabbed this out at random since they were since they were uh, out there. For Kyle, my buddy Liam Sharp, who I'm dying to get on the show. Look, JM's talked about it, but this is what he did with Liam Sharp. So I got to get JM to sign this one too. But that's Liam's autograph. But that was handy. <laughs> What's significant about this one? Someone find it. <laughs> what half the secret is that? Who drew that? Well, I'm it's right say it's yeah, look, I, right I, I knew it was right some before I saw the signature. That's a rare thing. Whose for me. signature is that? <laughs> that's a good forgery. Um, yeah, that's, a, that's a legit right thing right there. That's why I let go of my Batman the Cult series signed by him. All right. General trivia knowledge. Whose first Marvel art was this? That's <laughs> it? Whose first Marvel art was this? I thought it was Sinnet. No, Sinnet had been around since the 60s. Stern. Anybody recognize that he... signature? Nope. No. George, George Perez. Perez. That's Look got, at that. Uh, that was an early advert I did. Um, that front cover for the first Black Comics. Look at. There's a little bit of tick there, but. Can you see Kyle you see in the speech yeah. bubble? In the speech bubble. Yeah. Down a bit. Down a bit. The, what the, what Ben Grimm is saying. Splat. <laughs> so, that was a gift for us find to me. My buddy Harry that has all those uh, George Dave Perry, Stevens Perry. autographs because he got to chaperone around with Dave Stevens at Emerald Comic Con. He went up to George Perez and got him to sign that Wonder Woman one, Wonder Woman one in that book for me. 
So that was like a gift to me from Paris. All right. What's significant about that? <laughs> a giant sized man thing. Steve, Steve Gerber. Steve Gerber. Signed by Steve Gerber. So these were nearby when I grabbed uh, this Ed Hannigan stuff out. So I just, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So Perez, Sharp, Gerber, and Wrightson. That's not a bad thing. Can't have enough Howard the Duck. <laughs> Love my Howard the Duck. Um, Now... This, I already put the letter in the back, but I knew I was going to do it on the show. I'm going to bag and board a bag. I'm going to bag and board a bag. No, Kyle, don't do it. A bag in a bag. It's just not right. A bag in a bag. Why? Why am I bagging this bag? Well, the earliest bag they did is why. Yep. That is that is a first generation bear bag. I'm this is excited. fifty years old. I'm not excited, mate. I am not excited. That is so boring. That is a bag in a bag. I'm not a bag collector. <laughs> that is so rare. This is not geeky weekly bag collectors. You know, there's probably a yeah. there's probably a whole channel for people who want to collect. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't care, Kyle. It's not interesting. But, yeah, I got I've got two short boxes full of signature comics. I'm not even gonna start digging these out. No, the signature now, comics are okay, but the bag, you know, I've got a Tesco's bag from nineteen eighty. Another ninety two. <laughs> I always gotta show this off when I talk about Ed. When I was and I want Bill to hear this, but he's busy. Um when I was corresponding with Ed Hannigan back in 2012, 2013, before he went totally batshit nuts, jumped on the Trump bandwagon, and the damn thing ran Probably over. Probably talking to you, drive me mad. <laughs> but um, I got him to sign this. I got to get JM to sign this particular book. But um, oh shit! Uh, tell me I didn't drop it. Then this. I don't know if you've ever heard the story of this, Darren. Uh, uh, that's Spider Man. That's Hannigan. an Ed Hannigan original. This is an Ed Hannigan original piece on a comic board. I spot his daughter ran the Boston Marathon, and I sponsor his daughter twenty five dollars for the Boston Marathon in twenty thirteen. Do you Not know what mile, happened to the Boston Marathon in twenty thirteen? You oh, got a free comic. That's what. That's when bomb. it got bombed. That's when the bombing went off. His daughter was 20 minutes away from the, or 20 minutes past the finish line when the bombs went off. His daughter could have potentially died in that. Well, she was fast enough. She but didn't. Uh, because I donated, he did this original Spider-Man art for me. And then this who's the, who's the sexy Parker guy? Drew. Who's the sexy guy next door in the underpants? I Rick, <laughs> Rick Parker, who did the Beavis and Butthead comic. <laughs> He did the Beavis and Butthead comic, and Rick did this. This is the cover of his um, Everyday Superheroes. So he did he did that to me. But why I got this I hat. Like, and I like the Wonder Woman top you've got on. <laughs> at Wonder Man. Wonder Man. Come on now. But this is what I was talking about, and it's part of the Hero Initiative. Let me take this out of here, because we talked about Ed Hannigan layouts and stuff. And again, I'll hype him, even though he lost his mind. But this is a book he did about, uh, you know, this is for the Hero Initiative, which raised money for... Uh, yeah, Kyle, while you're on... This is a really nice bag. <laughs> there you go. But I thought about getting a bag to put this bag in. Oh, there you go. And um, I've got another one here, uh, if you're interested. Um, I'll, do you want these on your pile, Kyle? There you go. <laughs> so here's a bio of Ed. And the irony is after this bio page. Fuck! 
Wait, wait till you see. Wait till you see what the first layout is. This is the first layout he shows on there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah see, that's that's cool cover. The invaders. <laughs> the invaders. The invaders. That that's the layout that Kirby finished. I love that cover. Uh, that's the layout that Kirby finished. Here's some defender stuff he did. And again, these are the original layouts to the comics themselves. Oh, I'm just digging through my bin, uh, and I've got some old. I've got some old bags. Um, <laughs> yeah. Are you interested? Mark, the only bag I'm interested in is dangling between your legs. <laughs> there you go. I've got a bag to fit that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So here's just some you go. different got layouts. Some in the chat. Don't mm -hmm. listen to that mean old Mark, Kyle. Look, quite oh, I know. Those old 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 bags I'm well aware. <laughs> See, a lot of people don't know. Burn ghosted a lot of his stuff. <coughs> Burn didn't even do the original layouts to these. Hannigan did the layouts and Burn did the finish, but Hannigan never got credit for it. But he got paid well, so he didn't care. But, oh man, the neighbors are cooking. Um, but yeah, here's prime example. I love that. That is a great cover. And he did the layout for that. And he did the, he did the full layout to it. And this is a book on it, which again, you know, Burn, Burn did Burn did the finish there in the Fantastic Four, but this is how far the layout was done. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the got it. Now that's the story, Hannigan. That's the original art. That's the original art to the straight Hannigan cover. Yeah, it was ASM Annual 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll get right back. Back cover of Spidey Super Stories. There's a very familiar issue. Bill busy today. What's going on? He's get, actually getting customers. Let me get ahead to some. There's a whole bunch of this stuff. A British guy, maybe he's the layouts to the cloak and daggers. Yeah, Bill made some sales there. <laughs> Can we give all our all our orders for that uh, to, for Bill to give to that like so can post them when he gets now, back to England? Here's one that'll drive you nuts. Look, the pages are torn. <laughs> Ed didn't want to send this to me because he went flipping through it right as he was going to mail it to me. And he said, "Shit, I tore some." pages when i went to grab that i said i don't care you're the one that tore the pages ed this is your book I, i'm not interested in new comic book day anymore i'm interested in new bag day i've got <laughs> yeah. i've got an old bag here for tesco's um yeah super wipes Ooh, that reminds me yeah now look look at this <laughs> this is hannigan's probably most famous work Got Modoc and the whole Marvel Marvel universe. universe. The Marvel Universe, that's the original piece. Oh, wow. That's the 12 issue series. I would give my left arm for a poster of that. That's every cover of the original 13 issues in a Marvel Universe. Wow, that's impressive. So, that's Perez like. Yeah. Um, uh, cover to Dazzler. I'm trying to get to the better stuff, but uh, here's here's a uh, idea that never came into fruition. They were going to relaunch Journey into Mystery this way as a mystery book. Oh, my God. My neighbors are grilling out, and it smells so good. Oh, but, yeah, there's the cover of issue one. The nice original guy. pencil layout. See, it's got a I'm dropping out too, guys. One of my favorite Spideys. Before you drop out, damn it, damn it, damn it. There's Klaus Janssen talking about him. Uh, the classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But all right, well, that's that. But this this goes in. This tells the backstory to a lot of that. 
So, like, when I reference my knowledge of layouts and stuff like that, I've had prolonged conversations prolonged with the guys that did them. Like I said, Ed lost his shit, so I haven't talked to him in over five years. So, actually, I haven't talked to him since 2018, so, yeah, six years. Shit. But Martin he did some really me. great stuff. When he but was, I will always hype this. And then while I'm big, look, I bagged a bag. I bagged oh. a bag. Yeah. But, it, see, now I bagged a letter from him. Oh, you got a letter with the bag. That is even more I impressive. bagged it because when, when my friends send me letters and things, I actually do save them with the books because this means a lot. No, there's no book there, Kyle. This <laughs> it's, means it's a this, bag. When, when correspondence with people means very much to me. Yeah. But then we'll go back to this. And technically, Ed said this is me under the thing, but I count this as a me picture. But <laughs> is that not spectacular? That is right. utterly well, spectacular. I mean, the reforms of self-delusion, and I think the one on the left. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then that's me. That's actually the cover of a book that I still don't own. So. But it was paper cut but, slices... I know you've heard of the paper cuts line of comics. That's what it came out on was the paper cuts. <laughs> um, night, night, Mark. Good night, guys. Kyle. Good night, Mark. You set, set some bags aside. You're, you're for you. I know. On Thursday, um, maybe. Oh, you should you know, give us a preview. I'm, I'm, I'm interested sales. in any more collectible bags, um, you know, because I think we should add this onto the show. Hey, now, John Bishop, if I could ever talk him on the show, John Bishop collects, uh, he literally collects store labels and store price tags. The older, the better. And he just utterly loves them because it's a swatch of history. You know what I mean? No. Uh, it, it's hat. a piece of the history of comic shops long gone and things like that and where did these comics come from i mean i do get quite excited when i get a label on oh he's got an ali sloper ali sloper I'm... making did bigger did i ever show you this mark yes uh, well uh, i do have an ali sloper like that in better condition but it's probably not the same number it they actually there is only one it's a number one Oh, I've probably got it. I've got it, I think. It's a reprint yeah, from, a reprint. I don't know, 1950-ish. Yeah. yeah. These are from Mr. Dobson. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I've got that. I actually have that. How many have you got? <laughs> Shit loads. Shit loads. They're not, worth, they're not worth very much because nobody, know. knows, nobody knows who Ali Sloper is apart from me. This one too, look. Panto Pranks. Oh, goodness. I'll buy one of those off you. These ones you probably have for one for free. Yeah. I mean, there, there was a story when I was looking at those other things, those, um, the things that we came back to many times, uh, uh, the skunky, skunky it was called, and Conquerors. Do you remember Zor or Tor? Do you remember? No. I know yeah. the Conquerors Tor. Conquerors. Conquerors. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 10, no. 12 years ago. Oh, right. These these strange things. Yeah. 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 Well, there was a CGC forums discussion about these. And it's that one of the one of the people who wrote a note said, um, I bought one for like 20 pounds or something, and then went to the London Comic Mart. Yeah. I'm assuming the Royal National, yeah, where a dealer had a box full. Yeah, yeah. I'm wondering if that dealer might have been Frank Dobson when he was still alive. Probably, probably was. Yeah. I don't know what how old the comment was because uh, obviously so, it's older uh, than the year. We, um, yeah. So, Darren, when we were at the London Comic Mart on uh, Sunday, yeah, this old, it's an old bloke who comes up every time, doesn't he? Uh, he comes and talks to us every time. He's a really nice guy. Um, probably about seventy, I would say. And he comes up and he said, oh, uh, I heard you talking about Frank Dobson, uh, that guy who bought the Frank Dobson collection. I yeah. Said, yeah. And he said, oh, he said, I know it. I knew, I knew Frank. He said, I used to go to that store. Uh, wow. And we had about a 15-minute chat. 
and he talked about uh he said frank was a really nice guy and he used to buy comics there and you know um and talks about um and he said frank had been to australia before he was uh he got that comic shop and um oh. Yeah, he. I mean, he knew all about. He was, you know, he was probably at seventy, I think. So he probably was a right, about the right vintage. And I think his wife died last year, and he's got loads of comics in a lockup. I mean, he's the type of guy you need to. <laughs> if he cop, if he cops it, it's probably, yeah, yeah. Um, but really nice, and he always buys it. He always buys a comic or two off me. Nothing, nothing. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, yeah um he buys a comic just to show willing and um really nice guy um and he knew all about frank he knew about who he sold the shop to i think it was oh. um an, an american an australian or something like that i heard that was it i'm getting it, it right american, oh, no, he, he, sold it, he sold it he sold it to an american guy and then it went to a british a, a woman who ran it down and it closed as a comic shop yeah yeah right right okay. yeah and he said um dead skin used to live above the shop right yeah that's what i was remembering because i got it in my head that he passed it on to dead skin no yeah. he didn't pass right. it on to dead skin dead skin the advertiser the fanzine went to dead skin yeah 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 that's so why i said those guys are all thick as thieves because they're just it was a small group of them back then that got a little bit bigger but mind you, when I popped back on the grid in 2010, my weekly conversations used to be with the guys that wrote all the books on it and did the comics and the stories and stuff. Now I keep company with you lot. So, you know, you guys have really stepped up my game. You know, <laughs> I don't talk to the people. I'm, I'm, going, guys, or have um, the stories. I'm going to dream about those comics that you've got, uh, mate. And uh, hopefully one day you'll get through your stacks. At which point my stack will be about, about three grand and I won't be able to afford it. Right. One day, you mean you this stack behind me? <laughs> you realize on my floor upstairs sectioned off i probably got more than 10 grand worth of stuff ready to get out of here that i need to physically be able to get up and dig into and go here you go guys but I, there's probably 10 grand just sitting on my floor waiting well, I, well the, every big, week, the big money ones like my ff 52 and 53 are sitting up higher no matter what but every but, week I sort of try and say, right, this week I'm going to clear the room and then I'm going to get the stacks off there onto the tables and process them. And every week what happens is things crop up. And like this week I've had like three days of shows. And so every time there's shows, I keep bringing more shit into the room. And then it takes me another week to clear it out again. Well, so eventually I'll get there. <laughs> at the end of the year, I desperately needed to finish my deal with Mark. Yeah. But we got through it. Back. And I mean, I desperately needed to finish it. I mean, we got through by the fingernails that I don't even have anymore. And I'm glad we didn't do it then because it it rounded out the thing because I was just desperate to push then. So I'm kind of glad that didn't happen then. But this here shortly, it's going to have to happen anyway. But I, I got to figure, figure out something quick because I think you guys both got new customers right now. Well, there you yeah. go. Did you yeah. sell them comics, Bill? Sold them fifty dollars. Right. Good. I'll tell you yeah. what, though. I am yeah. utterly and, jealous. And, of and, that he, and he had me write down both of your um, name, both of your business names on, on the bag, and so I did. So he goes. He says he can't find the comics he wants, and I go. These guys can find the comics you want, because he wants he wants Legion, he wants early Legion, he wants stuff like that. You know, you guys come across that stuff all the time. Yeah. So, well, uh, you know, Darren, uh, Darren, Darren's probably got it all. Yeah, he probably does. Uh, Let's how, well, when you say early, how early is early? Well, well, he's even looking for a 247. So that's uh, their their first appearance. So I yeah. guess he's, I guess, as early as you can scramble. Two foot, what, Legion of Superheroes 247? No, no, yeah. uh, Adventure. Number two forty-seven. Adventure two forty-seven. 
And then like adventure, oh, what three oh four when Jim St Shooter started, and yeah. at thirteen, at thirteen. He's checking. Right. His this yeah, Bill, you there. missed my talk about talking to. Have a great amazing day. Going on to you lot here. <laughs> talking to you. Have a great amazing day. Yeah. So, Bill, uh, you missed the fact that we're now going to convert into a bag collecting channel.